Welcome back to Dungeon Cruel Stone Soup, everyone. So I've started up an octopod summoner here, and I'm wanting to try out the new Dithmedos. Oh, but I gotta survive the early game. That's just a bad, it should be fine. So it's level three magic points, not a huge amount, but we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's not a whole army of jackals after me or something. Uh, I might just try and get my magic points back and try that again. Oh, come on, rat. My rats are not lasting. There we go. Got finished off by a bat. Okay. Oh, this model with these jackals. That could be a problem. I might just try and constrict some of them with my tentacles. Right, 90% of the way up a level. I'm surviving, I guess. Hey, there we go. Second level. So I can get the cool imp going, which is 4% failure. I'm never going to have heavy armor or things. So that's something when it comes to, like, spellcasting chances. All right. Though it's not very good from a protective uh, point of view. Hopefully just having an army of stuff in front of me is uh, enough for a protection point of view, though. Um, I might bring in a little, um, see how it does. It don't, shouldn't have a very highly enchanted spear, minus three, yeah, but it's still something. Um, I don't really have any stacks of anything. Do I start with something? I start with a magic potion. That makes sense, I think it's a summoner. Start with a magic potion. Whoa, that's some stuff. Um... Oh, it grabbed me. Come on. I just wanted to get into this corridor so I can hide in here with my imp killed some stuff. There we go. Okay. It's always scary as a summoner getting get rather surrounded like that. Um, but hey, I can take these guys to a good area to kill them. I should probably pick up, like, a random dagger or something off one of these dudes. Um... Because it probably does more than my tentacles, let's see, it does 4 damage, I don't think I do much for my unarmed unless I actually speak into it. Which, in theory, octopodes are decent and unarmed, I've used them as unarmed before, in fact, I think most of my octopod wins have been unarmed. Oh, what, it's Book of Calling? Come on, that's my book. That's kind of disappointing. First, oh, book I find is duplicate, come on, let me step back, oh, I'm on 5 hit points. Oh, thank goodness it died. Okay, let's get some intelligence. I'm not very strong, but that's fine. Just gotta find some spells. Or maybe even get some spells. I can probably get a little uh, canine familiar now, can't I? Because I'm third level. It is 8% failure, though, but... Mm. Oh, well. I'm sure that will come down fast, because I'm getting the right things for it. Okay, bring out the canine. And it versus the adder. There we go, and there's also a little dagger here for me, which might be worth using dagger draining plus two. Yeah, that seems all right. Uh, oh, there's another guy, a little dart slug. Okay, now he's getting a lot of work in. It's, uh, ooh, see if it's more. I guess that's all right. I'm after, what, intelligence, magic points. Ooh, a shield could be useful. Man, my hand could time out at any stage now. I don't know how long it's going to last. Oh, there it goes, timing out. Yeah, because it had been around for a little while, so I knew it was going to time out. I just didn't know exactly when. I just knew it was soon. Um, I'm going to try this on, see what it's like. So, oh, 11% of the failure of the cool can I'm familiar. I probably can't quite do that one. Let's just take it off for a little while, I think. Is that a magic dagger? Wait, what is that? Plus one dagger venom. I should probably take that one. That's a decent backup. If I need to stab some sort of guy that gets up to me. Is that a shop? It's only an armor shop, isn't it? That's a shame. What I'm after is probably a ring shop as an octopode. Because that's uh, the main thing that octopodes use. Oh, I need a little dog back. It timed out though, so I can immediately get it back. Right, yeah, just an armor shop, unfortunately. So no use in going to that one or anything. Um, not two of a scroll. I mean, I'm beginning to get some scrolls, but they're not exactly big stacks or anything. Alright, fourth level, nice. Down to 6% fail on the summon... Oh, failed on summon little hound thing. And that's also for, like, buffing it up as well, so I do want it fairly reliable. Uh, especially without little magic points, I got eight magic points. With the right ring, I could over-double my magic points, but I... Doubt I'm going to find that super early. Ooh, hey, Scorpion. Oh, Miss Castle, the stand back and get my magic points back. There's nothing to stop me just doing that. 
Oh, really? Um, I gotta get a little lab. Is that poison resist? Yes, good. It's probably still gonna die pretty quick. Yeah, it didn't last that long, but at least it's poison resist. Oh, you're digging the mollusk face walling. Yeah, hopefully not too much face walling today, because I am on a streak, but, um, we'll see. It might be some face walling today. Definitely no guarantee is the boss level. No, I, I, uh, don't do so well with my octopodes sometimes. Ooh, a staff of death. That's just basically a resist negative. I, well, actually, there are Oh, I'll get the blaze gold, but it's not really there yet. There are some, like, necromancy spells I'm able to get. Like, I'm able to get the... Oh, what's it called? Man, what is that one called? The, like, Tortured Soul. I don't think it's that actual name. Mata and Shade. That's it. Not quite Tortured Soul, but you get the idea. Uh, the Anna doesn't notice me. I'll just stand back a little bit. There we go. Did get me poisoned, but not badly poisoned, so it should be fine. Excellent. So I found a lot of the trick with summoners is just trying to find a good spot for it actually being behind your summon. Instead of being awkwardly out in the middle of nowhere while um, you personally take all the damage. Why did I summon that little quokka? I guess I hit the wrong key, didn't I? I think I got the quokka spell quivered at the moment. Well, not necessarily quokkas, uh, small mammals. Alright, so there's Manifold Assault, Ozacuba's Armor, Fugue of the Fallen. That'd be more for, like, a shapeshifter type character, which I'm not this time round. Although, if I find Snatching Form, it might be worth getting. Um, what do I do here? I might just save my magic points for buffing my guy. Come on, no, I, uh... Wait, what happened to my guy? Disappears a puff of smoke and timed out? Okay, then I guess I'm still going to a different staircase. Is this one any good? Probably. Um, how many of these have I got? Two of these. Oh, yeah. The town lasting longer is both really good and slightly awkward. Because it's, it often times out in the middle of the combat, because it lasts, like, just long enough to get from one combat to another. Um, oh, don't want the bear right next to me. Okay. I'm gonna buff my guy. What else can I do here? I mean, I can back up a bird. The worst thing is that it goes berserk, which I don't think it will. I don't think my guy's got this under control. Uh, yeah, that's a tough. Wait, why is my guy not attacking? You can see it, right? It doesn't go to visible or anything. Also, my guy can see invisible, so like, it should be on attack no matter what. Okay, there we go. That go to that guy. So I'm level six, and I've got a. 3% chance of the cannon I'm familiar. I might put on the little shield to see how that is. 6% failure. That's fine. I might just get like 5 shield value because that's usually plenty to use a buckler. Um. Oh, don't put me in the net. Come on. That gets rid of both my defenses because it gets rid of my shield I think half my evasion. It's very much what this character's relying on. I'll just time out my little beast there so I can Bring in a new one. I really feel like if you like uh, buff your dad uh, uh, like in combat, it should extend its duration. But like only if you do it in combat, so you could just like keep it extending it outside of combat. I feel like it would uh, get rid of those awkward situations where it timed out just after you buffed it. Oh, got the shining one. Uh the shining one doesn't like dismantles, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it is. I got. Discharge and Discord Ball Lightning. I mean, Death Metals was always evil, but I think they went to the dark side at some stage. Uh, my hand's gonna burn to death. Uh-oh. I mean, I buffed it a few times, and I guess I kept it alive. But unfortunately, unlike the poison, buffing it doesn't get rid of the flame. It only gets rid of poison. Okay, seventh level. I'm not a draconian, so I don't get a color or anything special. Hey, Sally Roses. Wait, this metal's not evil now. I was like, you're saying I could go with the shining one? But my imp's evil, so I'm not sure about that. Um, I might not go with the shining one. 
That's interesting that I could theoretically go with the shiny one and swap to just Metal Slater. Ooh, is this a stat sick? It's a plus five flail of two fire to this minus three end. Uh, that's a little bit of a shame. Hmm. I mean, it kind of makes sense that Death Metals is evil. Like, they didn't really do anything evil. So I don't know quite why they were classified as evil before. Oh, let's buff the hounds there. Keep it going. I'm really interested in what their new abilities actually does, because I didn't actually read up on them to see what they do exactly. Alright, okay. <laughs> More creatures, except my house is not going to make it. Does not have time on it. What just happened there? Oh my, it just been a puff of smoke? I thought that usually when the things just been a puff of smoke, they only left like one cloud, but... Apparently my hips are going crazy with the clouds. Just putting them everywhere today. Oh, whoops, ah. This kind of keeps things away from me, I think. Oh, there's another guy, of course. What's my out doing? It's going around the long way for some reason. I don't understand why, but it is. I can't wear a helmet, right? It's just, uh, I'm pretty sure I can wear a hat, but definitely can't wear a helmet. I'll take a look at it anyway. It's just, oh, it's intelligence. It would have been nice. It would have been really nice if you had a helmet of intelligence, but I guess sometimes you just can't wear what you want to in this game. Got good old MacLab, but I don't think a banding MacLab would be a very good idea. I've used the Bog plus Flame Wave before. It's a funny combo. I don't think I have. I haven't got Nodge with Bog going that many times. I use like Nog Bog plus Ignite Fire, whatever it's called. Oh no, confused. I can try one of these. Berserk, okay. Well, now I'm confused and slow. Try one of these. Heals my wounds, but that doesn't really help. What about this? Brilliance? I'm no longer confused. I'm going upstairs. He gets an attack at me, but at least I'm out of here and I can wait off my slow and stuff that I've got on myself. Uh, minus Berserk's fine. Shame my big pile was Berserk potions, though, because um, those are the less useful ones for me. Yeah, I think the Hound's got this, but I'll buff it just in case it doesn't. Oh, you're using it at the moment? It just makes clouds all around you? Yeah, I mean, I guess it would do the steam. It does, uh, I guess if you're a fire resist, the steam would burn you, so it might be quite good at killing enemies. It's, um, hmm. It'd be reasonable hard to get online, but maybe if you started as an alchemist and got really lucky, you could get online fairly early or something. I'm not sure. Oh, it's not really that strong, but it's funny. Yeah, it reminds me of using Flame Wave and Swamp or something. Or uh, shoals more like, and you just uh, turn everything into steam. That's always hilarious. Although not always the best, because sometimes you don't have the fire resist to back it up. Alright. Uh, who's winning here? Oh, no! That was the same turn I summoned my guy and timed out, but oh well. And, uh, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier, like, about the, how it probably should get its duration extended just a little bit every time you, uh, buff it in combat. Maybe every time it gets an attack when you buff, maybe that would be kind of a cool way to do it. Are you an Alchemist of Ash and Zari? I mean, I guess that's gonna... If you're gonna get it online early, then be an Alchemist of Ash and Zari is the way to do it, I guess. I should play another Ash and Zari game. I always think I should play one and then I never do. I'm not gonna knock the point of Ash and Zari with me. What's going on here? Why is my dude not doing anything? Uh... Could bring another familiar, but like that really wasn't doing a lot, so I think I just back up to the staircase here. Although it might, the white might have stopped following me anyway, so there we go, I can just rest up. Are oh, you thinking Octopode of Ash? You got a lot of ring slots? I mean, I feel like an Octopode of Ash and Zari probably would work, right? I mean, it might take a little while to build up the rigs, but that's always a problem with octopods trying to build up the rigs. Oh, five of those? That's got to be an identify. Um, let's go to a staircase instead of a case of the teleport. 
It's an emulation, not at all what I was expecting. That was a teleport. I might just go and use upstairs. There we go. Alright, well, the next one's got to be identified because I've done so many things. There we go. Finally got it so I can identify, uh, revelations. I can identify, I've got two of these, resistance, um, butterflies. Butterflies are good. And a bit of, uh, vulnerability. Oh, my goodness. Me, centaurs. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do I do? I've got roots. Um, oh, they're killing my ebb. I don't like that at all. Can I just melee them? And I'll bring in another rib and then try and melee the dude. That was really terrifying because they just absolutely slaughtered my dog. I couldn't even kill it alive. I'm playing Ash on the Death Experimental Brunch. Wait, is it, wait this is not an experimental brunch? Oh, I thought just a hit trunk. Am I wrong about that? Am I totally playing things wrong? Am I just going to get old this? I hope not. I build up the rings, but with Ash, you're already playing an inventory management game. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Octopus don't swap that many rings. Maybe just like one ring for swapping, and then the rest just kind of get glued to their tentacles. Because they're just good enough to be worth using. What have we got? Plus one dagger of venom. Um, oh, hey, ogre. Oh, goodbye. Poor little hound. That's fine. I'll just run back till I can get my hound back. Um, oh, so on CDI? Okay, well, I guess... I mean, this character doesn't have to go dismantle, so right? Oh, that's a shame. Um, I, for some reason, I thought it was a truck because there were, like, lots of people playing it. <laughs> but no, that makes sense. So if this and that, I won't get it. Yeah, CDI doesn't really work for me. I mean, I could do an offline game, but um, I'd have to set that up. So maybe not today. Uh, right, so I guess change of plans. What can I do with this character if I can't go Dismanos? Are there any other new gods that I can try? What's a god I haven't been with? I don't know if there is one. Hmm. I like this wine, it's causing me some problems. Hey, there we go, finally got it. Okay, well I better update my title if I'm not going death. Um, what are some gods? I mean, I could totally do Ash and Zari. You know what? Uh... I should update my stream title though. Uh, uh right, what do I go with this tide oak? Right, there we go, new stream title. <laughs> okay. Oh, is a kite shield? That's way too big, right? Wait, where was it? Doesn't really matter. Uh, was it on this dude? I don't think so. Oh no, not two of them. I got, I mean, I guess they're in a corridor, so I guess that's okay. I hate it when they drain my guy. I feel like it makes my guy less effective. Alright. Oh, no. Nice stuff that one up. But I was running out of bed. Oh no, what have I done? Don't run to that corner. I think the guy was thankfully distracted so I could just run away. It's a bait and switch. You came here for this? And you want your money back? Yeah, I came here for this as well. Uh, but apparently I'm uh, completely on the wrong server to play Death Metals or something. What's the new Death Metals? I'm not sure. I haven't I hadn't actually looked up their things, but uh, people seem to be liking them, so... I just double checked that this is not the new Dismetos, um, but it should be, right? Well, that didn't help. <laughs> I don't even got to walk over there, I can't just examine them in a distance. But no, I think this is, uh, the old one, right? So they've got the 
massive shadows, shadow fibber, shadowy mimic actions, bleed smoke. Yeah, that's the old one. Oh, so disappointed. All right, well, it's Ash and Zari time. Uh, do I get a curse? Not yet. I have to explore before I get a curse, I guess. Oh, any of these gonna follow me? Ooh, that's rather close. I might actually bring these back. Yeah, there's a good spot for them. That way I can run if my hound dies, which it might. Okay. I'm struggling to keep it healthy. I do not have enough magic points here. Oh, thank goodness. I killed the dude, so I can just go run to... That'll do, I think. Although I might just be able to kill that one as well. Oh, hey, Blockula. No, I can't kill Blockula. I'm, uh, yeah, definitely not in a good enough state for that. I might be able to kill him once I get all my magic back. We'll see. I definitely want to find him in a corridor, though, because otherwise there's butterflies that probably couldn't kill me. Um... Oh, hey, Blockula. All right, Blockula, get back here. Wait, where is he? There he is. Has he got venom or something, or did he just shoot a venom bolt? He probably is venom bolt. He's got all oh, vampire draining. He's hasted up. Do his butterflies? They don't get hasted, but he's hasted, do they? That might be alright. Oh, nope. I think I might have time now because I can resummon it. Like, did that butterfly just one hit my account or something? Oh, come on. He reformed? That's not fair. Okay, well, I guess I'm going back upstairs or something. <sighs> Although, if I kill him now, I think he forms into less butterflies, right? Uh... He's got to reform again. Why would he even have... No, he died. My, how much kills butterflies? Yeah, I think the number of butterflies on the left, uh, never remembers that. Okay, so we've got Curing Potion, which is good. Got Amnesia, which is okay. Noise, uh, what a shame. And Torment, probably also a shame. Probably get rid of the Torment, I don't think I've got anything to resist that. Get rid of some of these old daggers as well. That's what I got. Not much, I've got Berserk, I can probably drop those as well. No curses just yet, I should probably just curse up, I mean, I don't know. I could curse up my Sea Invisible Rig, I could curse up my shield. I don't think I've got anything else to curse. I guess I can curse my little weapon, right? Uh, it's probably going to attract both... Oh, yeah, it's definitely attracted both of these guys. My health must be getting more effective as I get more summoning, because I think his damage does go up. Yeah, that, which definitely helps. Oh, wait, did they change... Uh, change what? Like Dismetos or something else? Hold on, I, I think I I might have been a bit late in reading that message. Uh Oh Blockula, that was that was pretty recent. It was maybe maybe two weeks back? I'm not actually sure um exactly when it was, but it was around there. It almost feels like a like a Halloween unique, but it's no, it's just a just a general unique that anyone can fight at any time of year now. And it is kind of funny. He's definitely more interesting than the old uh, block, the orc. But I don't know I find his name a little bit funny. I oh, haven't played in months, but you might uh, look at the changes. Yeah, see if there's something. I mean, definitely with the new Dismetals go through, it would be worth uh, giving it a play. Uh, okay, let's back up. Back up to my staircase here. Yeah, I think all the whites died there, thankfully. Any of them have robes for me? I think these are just plus zeros, unfortunately. Wait, I can't even wear robes. What am I doing? I'm not a not a character that wears stuff. Um... Oh, don't smite my hound to death. Thankfully, he's got enough health to smite one smite. And I'd rather my hound was getting smited than me, I think. Um, that whip electrocution's okay, but I won't grab it. What have you got? Sigil Binding di Dimensional Bullseye. 
Unfortunately, not the right sort of character for Dimensional Bullseye. I've been finding Dimensional Bullseye not as useful as it could be. I mean, maybe I'm just using it wrong, but it certainly doesn't feel fulfill the old role that the um, portal projectile does. Like, you can't hit stuff behind your allies. You can't hit stuff behind fences. I don't know. I mean, I guess you can hit enemies behind other enemies, but that's not always what you're coming up against. And you might just be able to use it to multiply your damage if you're willing to live a little bit tediously. I'm not sure. Because I think it allows you to hit like two guys sometimes as long as you're using the magic points. Oh, you need a different dimensional spell like a uh, malign gateway now to hit things like behind stuff. Is, yeah, I don't know. I feel like rage characters need something for hitting stuff. Oh, what was, I, what was on the ground there? Hold up. Ah, what am I doing? Ah, apparently clicking all the wrong stuff. What? What am I doing? There was something magical on the ground, but it might have just been a weapon, because, uh, it might have been armor. It doesn't really matter, I can't use this. There's range combat devices? Um, that's not that useful. Let's put it on... I reckon this dagger's not gonna last that long, so I might put it on... Oh, on the dagger. Ah. Uh... Okay, heal up my dude. I think this is fine. Heal up my dude again. No, it killed my dude. Oh, no. Um, I can't root, so I might just let my other guy go up the front and then root these guys, I think. There we go. And then personally venom them or something. Uh, are those two catching up to me? Random energy or is it actually faster? No, random energy, thankfully. That's what I- I wanted it to be random energy, I'd hate for that guy to be faster than me. If he chased me back to the staircase or something. I mean, it'd be nice for this character to keep getting summoning? Oh, like a- right, right, no, that makes sense, uh, like a dimensional, uh, whatever it's called, uh, yeah, the blind gateway, that one, would be great for keeping getting summoning, because I do need some new spells. Actually, how am I going with, the uh, Blaze Heart? I could do it. If I want a blaze heart, I should just get like three fire skills or something. I don't know. Get it actually usable. But it can be pretty good to just blow people up with a blaze heart golem. And I don't have fire resist. That could be a problem. But this shop could be good. So it's an acrobat amulet will resist negative. A resist electric, resist cold, resist corrosion is pretty good. Resist cold, flight, strength, dex minus two, stealth ring is okay. But I don't need too much resist cold. Oh, willpower, fire is okay, but I have to get one of the cold resist ones first. I might just get the magic points, maybe? How much money do I have? If I bought that, I can't afford nothing else, but I'm gonna do it. There's also just a plain willpower here. Alright, but I'll put on the magic points, because that's good for now. Yeah, it can bring me up to 31 uh, magic points. Just let me seriously buff my hound up for a little while. A ring shop you win? Now I just need money, but yeah, that's a good shop. <clears throat> Alright, let's go downstairs. Um... Ooh, charming? What else have I got? Charming and roots. Those are both pretty useful. A root shot in theory let my creatures attack a bit better, like if I got a creature held down in place, not going anywhere. Oh, good identify. When did I get that one? Doesn't matter, I can use it now, so I got enchant armor. I don't actually have anything to enchant, because I got my shield curse. I've heard a rumor that if you're a mountain dwarf, you can enchant up your cursed gear, because it doesn't count as, like, a... um... set artifact. It counts as just, like, a random or something. But I'm not... 100% sure if that's true. Okay, there's Lignification and there's Enlightenment here. Those are both pretty good. How am I going with rings, though? Um... Kind of like the look of some of those rings. I'm not sure. Maybe I should get the Lignification because it's reasonably cheap, but maybe not. Oh, don't kill my hound. I've already got one of those. Like, I'll bring another one if it dies. Oh, come on. Keep it healthy. They are going through a decent amount for my... Oh, no, they did kill my hound at the end. Oh, there's a lot of guys here. Okay. Oh, no. Don't put the imp there. Come on, imp. I just want it on the right side of me. 
fun. But this guy has so much fun to me, that could be a problem. Maybe I should try and get him with some charming, but I'll just roots it up for now. Okay, the roots is the trick. Um, why is that staircase? Oh, that was actually slightly unexplored, but it's probably fine. I've just got to keep her going quite some way, but I should be able to get back to the staircase. Bad, it looks like they've maybe given up following me. There we go, got back. Oh, makes sense only reason you can't enchant as they are artifacts. Yeah, it does. It just sounds like it could be actually be pretty decent. I might uh, give that a try at some stage. Oh, there's so many of these priests. Thought one of these dudes come round, but they might not be able to get round. <laughs> Stabbed it, okay. Uh, Staff of Fire... That's... Oh, this is probably actually worth using. Um... I don't want to shatter my curse item just yet. I haven't even built up my curses yet. Alright. But it would give me fire of this, which would be nice. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Again, I don't know how I get to those guys. Presumably, they'll find their way to me on their own. But the other ones did somehow manage to get out of that. Yeah, I mean, they can definitely get out of there because it's wanting me that they're nearby when I try and rest up. Oh. Okay. Keep my... Keep an eye on the health of my guy. I'll just preemptively buff it up a lot of the time. Make sure it survives. Let's go down. That's probably a better staircase. Alright, what have we got? We got some daggers of venom again. Poison darts. Not curaris, unfortunately. Uh, oh no! Ow! That really hurt. How's the chance of the charming? Oh, it's like 30%. I think I've unfortunately got to use my healing potion here. Um. Okay, I got the dude with the charming, but. Ow. I don't know how we get off this level, um, because it's hard to get back to the staircase when one of those guys ambushed me, but that's fine, I got my health back now. Okay, good old Grum, where is he? Okay, oh no, he killed my hound. Should he, I guess he doesn't mind bashing up other people's hounds. I mean, I guess I killed his hound, so it's kind of like revenge or something. There we go, got rid of him, he's got minus two halberd. He doesn't tend to have very good items on him. Sometimes they'll have something a bit better than a minus two halberd though. Sometimes, does he ever have animal skin? I mean, it's not like he can wear it or anything, but I think sometimes he does. Um, This is okay. Setting in this spot. Trying to buff my hound desperately. And it was keeping it alive, but the extra attacks it was getting in there were pretty helpful as well. And killing all these guys. Yeah, I was definitely cleaving everyone. Ooh, another identifier. And I've got a ring of fire. Alright then. Um. Wait, do I not have a ring of fire? I can read the identifier, but I thought that said a ring of fire, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there's a choir bench. Oh, it might be like a ring mail of fire. I'm sure there was something of fire on the ground. It was my staff of fire. Let me show the useless, because it might be in there. Book of Callings? No. I don't know, maybe I just imagined it. Anyway, I can read the acquirement and see what that one's offering. So it's offering me a ring of nine decks, minus fire resist, resist poison, resist cold. Um, that's interesting. A large tag of staff conjuration. Awesome money. 700 gold could buy me something fairly serious. Um, how close am I to be able to buy that ring of, like, I don't know. Oh, I think I'm going to blow up my dagger, even though it's not good timing on that one. Okay, and I'll put on, uh, 
I know it's minus end, but I might put on this little uh, flail. Hopefully that's fine. And then, wait, I can go with the acquirement. I can grab the ring. Yeah, it'll give me some poison reserves. It'll give me some dags. I was also minus strength, but that's fine. Actually, I think my weapon's plus strength. Right, let's put that one on. So now I've got one fire resist, one cold resist, one poison resist. I did lose a little bit of it, but that's probably fine. I got more dags, which... Once they get a better shield, might be useful. I could probably also at some stage get dodging. How my current spell is going? 6% fail on the blaze heart. That's not too bad. Oh, new death. Unfortunately, not for Atomic. I was going to try new death, but I didn't realize they were only on the experimental server, so I stuffed that one up. Um, Spy, how could it kill this dude? <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately, this is, uh, this is Ash and Zari this time around. But no, there, there should be a new death out there if I'm on the right server. Uh, right, well, something's probably fine there. Do I want to get... I want to get a little bit of dodging, just to, like, bring it up to 60 if it makes much of a difference. I also get some fighting. Wait, wasn't there a bigger shield somewhere? Would it be wrong just to put this on, like, right now, see how it goes? Let's try it on. It's probably a bit heavy. So the Blazer Gobs are 21, 22% failure. Actually, you know what? I might just go with this bigger shield and get some more shield skill. Yeah, let's do it. Um... What level the dungeon am I on? I don't even remember, but the dungeon level 8 will do. Oh, dungeon level 9 now? Wait, no, this isn't fully explored, is it? Oh, it is. Did I look at this shop? I probably did. Yeah, it's a lot of lignification and stuff. But I was just saving up my money to buy, like, better rigs, because thankfully this character got a jewelry shop, and those are always super excellent. How bad would it be to try and get one of these dudes out? I got one fire this I probably won't, like, insta-kill myself by accidentally blow myself up, which, uh, is a real risk of happening with this character. Okay. I'm really just focused on keeping my hound healthy. Not a lot else uh, for me to actually do that. Although I'm kind of low on the magic points at the moment. I should run away. Where did I leave my staircase? I'd probably... Oh, I can bring one of these dudes up. It's not the whole lot of them. <laughs> no, be seriously excessive to bring those all up. Let's go down another staircase. Uh, I gotta look at spells, but I don't think there's anything new. It's just the uh, same old stuff. Whoa, ow. I'm gonna root this guy up and I'll let my hound go up the front. Let's keep on buffing it so it kills that guy nice and quick. Because, yeah, I don't want that guy to be attacking me personally. Oh, fought you beguiling? That's something. What does he even buy beguiling do? Translocation hexes, I mean, shields is fine. What else is it getting for the fortune? Wait, fortune can't just be shields. Oh, is it also armor? It's probably armored shields. So, shields is alright. Translocation, I don't know if I have a use for just yet. But I can put this on my. Um, I mean, it's okay, but it's nothing special. I'll just put it on the sea invisible. Yeah, probably with the good rings, I'll try and put good curses on them, and the ones that look like they'll get swapped out at some stage, I can... Just put whatever. Because hopefully I'll find, like, an artifact of some kind that goes to the invisible. I don't think they're that uncommon. Companions introspection? Yes. That's good. Um, Do I curse out my poison resist, minus fire resist, cold resist, dex plus nine ring? I think I do. Yeah, because that's a, I think that's a pretty good ring. And this, uh, like, this is definitely good. Oh, I've got some stuff. I've got some enchant weapon. I've got some amnesia, butterflies, enchant armor. Mm, I might have a shield. I don't think I've got much to enchant. But it's good to have all my stuff identified finally, at least. That was a good old cancellation. Um, I'll go down at least one more level. 
Ah, <laughs> yeah, the identifier is apparently useless. Oh, maybe this book will have something. Let's see. It's got Hell Fire Mortar, Horfrost Cannonade, Brom's Bowling Boulder. Now, this is technically something, right? Like, this is Conjuration Earth, Ice Alchemy, Fire Earth. Uh, so this is Conjuration Earth. Yeah, they're, they're not summonings. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing, but hey, there's nothing much I can do about that. Love to get a Hellfire model with this character. I feel like it would just destroy my summons, though. I'm not sure about that. Uh... Oh, there's no stuff there to sign. I should go Earth Mage. I don't know. Have I actually done an Octopode Earth Mage? That might be one of the Earth Mages I got left for, like, remaining for me to go complete at some stage. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, the main side, downside of being Ash and Zari here is that I'm not gonna get, uh... Like, a super large number of spells or anything, but I think Ash and Zari is actually really good on summoners. Apart from that. Um... Oh, that's my guy almost dying again. I feel like I run it very close to the health. Like, it, oh, resist corrosion. Could die at any stage. Do I need that? Wait. I, I had a better one for resist corrosion, right? I got the resist corrosion, resist cold, resist electric. So this can just have whatever random curse dumped on it because it's going to get swapped out. Fortune sorcery? Wait, what is, uh, what's sorcery? Conjuration Alchemy? Uh-huh. Fortune's alright, but I'll just dump this on... Uh, I might, yeah, I'll put it on the Resist Corrosion Ring, I think. I don't know, maybe I could have kept it, but I don't think it's, like, that special. Uh, Shields on 10, right, because it got buffed up a bunch. Summoning could do it a little bit more, I guess. Same with fighting. Do I have a target? Yeah, I do, actually. I don't want to change that one. Uh, bring the dodging up to its target as well. Yeah, that all looks fine. Oh, I might need now that spell casting. Bring it up to 9 as well. See if it gets me an extra magic point. Or at least get me some extra spell levels. In case I find some good spells or something. I'm just kind of running up with my base and hitting those guys. Just, uh... Um, make sure those guys weren't moving so that my hound could actually attack them. Instead of having to futilely chase after them effectively. Right, we've got the Orcish Mines. Do I even have the lair though? I don't have the lair, which is the one I'm going to have to go to next, so I'm going to have to try and find that one. Also, uh, does the Flux Talisman melt my shield a lot? I can't even remember what it melts, actually. To be perfectly honest, I know it melts weapons. I got Condenser Vein, Magic Potion. I don't need the Double Sword. I'm not that sort of character. That, that ring might be good. You know what? I'm going to try the ring. Hopefully it's all right. It's a ring of flight. Well, that's... Um, oh, well. <laughs> I guess I'm flying now. But it's not that useful. Uh, maybe I should have saved my money. Just it was a reasonably cheap ring, so... It's a fire this weapon, no downsides, plus four strength. Minus two fire resist, but it's minus three hit. I might keep with my current one for now, though. Oh, oh it's the wrong way around. Let's see if I can get a... You know what, actually, I might just bring out the golem. <laughs> that will deal with the null. I mean, it was kind of not even a tough null, but it was in the wrong spot. Oh, well, I'm going up here. I got marked. It might just go down another staircase. Um, this one will do. Any unexplored staircase at this point. Um, what is that? Dragon's called Summon Hydra? Um... I want to, res I want to summon Hydra. Can't afford the stuff, okay. You're flying out boats where you flail and summoning demon dogs. 
It's worth it for the psychological damage. Do also have a Hellfire model or something? Maybe. How do I even get to this book? How? Where's a where's more cold resist? I looked at cold resist and it was expensive. I don't have much money right now. Um, probably take me a teleport to get out. Does I do I just drink a potion for this and run in here? I gotta say probably. I think it's an idea. Let's do it. Is it a trap? This might oh, this might have been a trap, yeah. Oh, I probably should have covered here. Um Oh, waste of the resistance. No, I don't have enough health to survive that. Okay, even with two cold resistance, it's not really doable, is it? Uh-oh. That's a lot of guys coming along, like a bone of and stuff. I don't know if I can deal with that many at once. Although there wasn't all okay. here. There it is. That's a shame, because I really love that summon Hydra. I mean, the dragon's cool can wait, but... Someone hide not so much. I'll just give buff away how there. Because otherwise I think I'm in a bit of a trouble. Mike again? What on earth? This area just won't let me be. Okay. Slowly doing damage, but I should maybe I'll just set these guys on fire or something. No, nah, that's not working. It's fine, though. I've pulled those guys away, but I still gotta go down, though, because I haven't found the lair, so... There's gotta be a round here somewhere. Um... Does fog prevent clouds from forming? Yes. And I... don't have it. How do I make fog? Because that would be really helpful. Uh... You made the fire clouds, but that doesn't make my situation any better, really. Okay. Um. Oh, it's on the wrong side of me. Probably that is like just shuts down once it's on the wrong side of me. Oh no. I gotta have to. Get myself back in a corridor, I think. Alright, well, I guess that works. What else have we got here? I think the boulder beetle, there it is. I was gonna say it's still alive, but it's right here. I know that one blowing up with the fires is enough. We're gonna blow it up at least a couple of times. Wait, I'm gonna blow it up a third time? No, I'm gonna take it out just by the fist of my golem, thankfully. Uh, beguiling fortitude, yes. It's nothing too special. I might just put it on my flight rig. Um, I do need some good castles so that I can go put on like actual stuff I want to keep around at some stage. Fire rigly thing. Can I polymorph it? I. I don't have polymorph, do I? I do have the fire resistance, so it's just gonna be kind of resistant to what I'm doing to it. But I guess it wasn't too bad. Okay, got the lair. I'll try finish this level, I think. Uh That book again, is this even diggable? It is not diggable, so you need shatter to get on there. Well, that's pretty difficult. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Can you time it right? Oh, there's also poison. Um, True, I do have poison scrolls. Might be worth it, actually. Nah, I gotta avoid the blowing up, aren't they? Alright, yeah, it might be worth it, so... It'll get me through some of the area, at least. I wonder whether the treasure area ever forms clouds or not, or whether that's far enough in that it wouldn't. You still think I need to expand a resistance to teleport? Probably. Um, do I have anything else that could be helpful here? I'm not sure I do. Okay. 
But wait, what's the cloud forms? Uh, I don't stop it, but that's probably fine. I just want to get here. Then I want to read the poison. Should fill this up nicely. Ah. Should fade. Mm, I've got another poison here, but I'm kind of running out of those ones, unfortunately. Can I just run for it? Nope, unfortunately not. This is an area that can't fold the clouds, but I got my summon Hydra. I think this little corner is safe, right? So I can just heal up in here. But I'm gonna have to teleport to get out, which is fine. Alright, well, I've got the summon Hydra, which I should go grab. It's, uh, oh, it's actually a 60% failure or something. Oh, well, at least I got it. Um, if I go back to a smaller shield, how's that look? 30% failure. Can I get that better? I don't know if I can just yet. Hold up. Uh, getting dodging. Let's not get dodging. Let's go straight to the summoning, I think, for a little while. There, try and get this going. Um, for a little while, I'll use this shield, but I'm going to have to swap pretty soon. So let's go into the lair. At least I got my high-level spells covered. I've got the uh, summon Hydra. That's going to be helpful eventually. Uh, on the other side of this wall. Cunning and melee, okay. That's like not particularly tempting, um... I'll just put on this magic power ring. I don't know, I might end up keeping this, I'm not sure. But anyway, if I go to my little shield now, I might actually be able to cast a summon Hydra. 30% failure? I guess that wasn't the right spell schools, was it? Which is a bit of a shame. And hey, at least I get to blow a few guys up in this corridor. Um. Oh, whoops. There we go. God, I make quite a bit of noise, so I might just head back to my staircase just to get my health back. But no, that's definitely doing the trick. Blowing these guys up with a golem. 22% fail, so my chance of failing is also coming down nice and fast as well. Alright, there's a little hound. I can definitely bring it into the corridor. Whoops, I need to be up one, or my dude is not charging. Uh, level 12, alright. Ooh, that's not quite where I want this dude. Ah, uh, where's it going? Well, that's all right. Does uh, kill those guys at the end. Nineteen percent failure. So it could definitely bring out the name of this horror, right? Oh, whoops. Ah. <laughs> uh, fifteen on something. I gotta get that up. I think even higher. I might bring it up to like twenty or something. Is it worth getting the spellcasting right now? Probably not just yet, but... It will be eventually. But for single school spells, it's not that worth getting spellcasting if you're just trying to get them castable. It's been a bit better with, like, the multi-school ones, because it kind of helps the uh, same amount, whereas the individual schools help less when it's multi-school. I'm gonna get these guys next to me, aren't I? Oh, what's my dude doing? Uh, I don't even know, I think the Blink Frog died. But yeah, it's a little bit sketchy with those guys, so we've got... 14%, I can maybe try some summon Hydra, so we've got Sorcery Fortune. Fortune Shield, Sorcery is like Conjuring and something. Do I just put this on my buckler? I guess so. <laughs> but um, I might not want this forever. Ooh, hey, Harold. I gotta try and get Harold with a Hydra. Oh, not a net. At least that's two of his nets down. And I'm marked. Um, and he's dead. But... 
try get back. There we go. Go back to the staircase. I can go grab his nets, I guess. Well, if any of his nets survived, they might have all been used up by the Hydras, unfortunately. Oh, there's one of them. So he's got a human corpse of Harold. Oh, yeah. Mm, I'm just going to hide in this corner, I think. Seven Hydra is okay as a spell. It's not the most magic efficient thing ever, but uh, why can't I... Quiver it? Where is it? I guess it's technically still dangerous or something. Oh no. Oh no, I brought out a... Oh, come on. Um... Can't back up, but is that gonna cause me problems? Mm, I feel like that Boulder Beetle's being fairly thoroughly blocked, but... Oh, this dude's gonna get up to me, is it? There we go. It didn't quite get up to me, but I... Don't think I can deal with those guys with the Hydra, because it's not managing to pop out, unfortunately. Oh, one thing about some Hydra is that the nameless, uh, the nameless horrors really hose you? Yeah, they do. Whoops. Um, can I charm this dude? It's infinite will. I hate that. Maybe the summoning Hydra was not the smartest plan ever, but maybe it was. Um, what else can I even summon here? I'm not sure there's much. Um, try roots this dude up, but I don't think it'll work about the water, will it? How... Oh. I reckon I just gotta teleport, because otherwise I'm not gonna do so well. Yeah, I, I don't seem to be able to take out the name of Soros, okay. Unfortunately, that's my staircase guarded by some rather tough stuff. They'll probably wander around. That's the name of horror, alright. Ah, got rid of it. Alright, well, I might be able to get rid of that exclusion then. So, I've got rid of the Nameless Horror, but I can easily get out another one. I don't think I can bring up my cast chance anymore, unfortunately. Because that would be kind of nice. Just pulling that up a little bit so I don't get out quite as many Nameless Horrors. Um, what's up with the spell book? What has it got in its Book of Iron? Apparently, I've read that one already, though. And I guess the fact that I bring out multiple Hydras also means there's a higher chance of a Nameless Horror as well. Oh, where did that guy go? It's gonna disappear again. The Hydras don't last very long, but they do do decent damage. They're kind of like... Oh, they're almost like homing missiles with the way they act. Um, I can't wear that armor. No, it's just armor strength anyway. Melee combat, introspection. Introspection is fine. Melee combat's not that special. Do I want to put this on anything? Wait, is melee? No, melee combat won't be that special. I don't know. I might wait for something a little bit better because I'm kind of running out of stuff to curse. I feel like I'm going to stick with this weapon for a little while just for the fire resist. Um... Oops, I didn't mean to bring out a second one. That could be better if it brought a nameless horror or something. Or close to four stars, so maybe, or maybe it would get me with four stars with a, yeah, so I'd be protected from malevolent forces. Hmm. Can I afford a ring? Can I afford a ring of willpower, which is actually not bad. You know, yeah, I might just grab this ring and put it on the ring, I think. Um, uh, maybe. It's an okay curse. Alright, let's do it. Uh, self is alright. Wait, what? Where's my ring? Apparently I don't have it on yet. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put it on. So, I uh, now, yeah, I'm protected from malevolent forces. No, I think you were right about that being worthwhile with the uh, whole protection from malevolent forces. I want this one dude to notice me. Come on, because I don't want to bring back the shark at the same time. Oh, I brought, almost brought, I think I brought back the shark. Gotta go berserk, isn't it? Ah, 
Um, I get out of the roads. Hey, there we go. It died. Okay. What was that? Like a rooted up berserk shark there for a second? Oh, Hydra versus Hydra violence going on here. And obviously my Hydras win because I can just summon in more of them. I like the poor natural Hydra. Can't exactly summon in any friends. Man, imagine just seeing like a little squid crawling around on land. You're like, oh, that's not too bad. And suddenly it pulls an entire Hydra. I don't think this is that good, is it? So it's, uh, Elemental Magic, Transvocation Hexes. Hmm. Kind of just wants to curse the companions or something. I don't know. Or self. Self's pretty good. Oh, we need a unique Hydra mage with summon Hydra. The Hydra that summons the Hydras. But do those Hydras summon the Hydra? Oh, it's Manifold Assault. Imagine a Hydra with Manifold Assault, though. Although, I guess the targets technically isn't dependent on the number of heads, but, like, you could totally make it that way for an enemy, right? That'd be kind of funny, and Hydra just manifolds assaults you. Uh, I got two enchant armor. That's still just gonna have to be for, like, whenever I get a shield. Um, well, better shield. Have I seen my lab branches, or have I been... Oh, I've got spider nest? Okay. I haven't seen my other one yet. Oh, there it is, the swamp. I get a cold as I like, did, right? Even though I don't have like one of the rings I'm saving up for a cold as I've apparently still got it from somewhere. And I'm down to 3% failing to summon Hydra, so it's less likely to give the nameless horrors, but it still will give them. Oh, sorcery introspection. Introspection is 5 more sorcery again. Conjuration Alchemy. Um, what's the plan with that one? Do I just dump it on anyway? I might just dump it on anyway. I think it's good enough for this weapon. There we go. I got a full set of curses. Um, should help these skills a little bit, I guess. I'm a 2% fail in the summon Hydra, so I think it did. Because every time you gain piety, all your curses get a little bit more powerful. Oh, don't barb me. Uh... I'll step behind my Hydra. But it's not an easy spot to run away with all those barbs and me, because I don't have a lot of health for this character. Oh, Nodges Bog and Hydra, like Nodges Bog, and uh, that would be interesting. Manifold Assault. I'm going to retreat back just a little bit here. Actually, maybe quite a bit. Hopefully, it's just this one guy now. Oh, no. I wanted to go up that staircase, but I don't have a choice anymore. How do I even deal with this guy? He's just instantly turning all my guys to... ...stone. Um... 1% of the petrify. What do I, what do I even have? Oh, so I can charge you with not just bog you up. Uh... Do I have a fog? and over fog, right? Oh. And I can run this guy around the... S no, I can't run this guy around the circle because he's an enemy. Or maybe I can. I guess that works. I just go up the staircase. Um, oh, someone here for me to take care of. How's the staircase? Uh, that one doesn't look the most pleasant. I'm glad I didn't initially go down that one. That would have been an unpleasant time, I think. Oh, you just like the idea of a Hydra wearing wizard hats on each head? <laughs> oh, it's such a funny mental image. Just like, I don't know, like an eight-headed Hydra with eight wizard hats or something. Oh, you certainly wouldn't be short on hats after you fought it. Um. Oh, not the cat of leafers again. Alright, I think I just uh, scooch up the staircase, go back down the same old one here, which is kind of my only good staircase right now, I think. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, don't just petrify yourself. I think this might work. If I can maybe get an Hydra, okay. As long as I'm taking the Calcifying Dust, I could probably do that, which is what I was trying to do. I don't need a Resist Corrosion. In fact, I almost could chatter Resist Corrosion that I've got on right now. I just need to have a bit more money, which is not exactly happening given I got a ring shop, but there's another ring I do want to buy. Oh, whoops. I don't realize that would get me. I thought that would get my Hydra, but no. It was smart enough to go for the summoner. Elements cunning? No, I don't even think I've got a thing to curse. Um, oh, whoops, that'd be that Hydra, but that's fine. Alright, 20 on something, so I got 1% failure, which is about as good as I can get. I can get shields up to, like, 15, I can get fighting up to, like, 10. I could probably do, like, 10 dodging. Yeah, let's just get some defenses, because I don't think I have any more spells I want to get until, like, I go for dragons. Wait, 90% failure? 91% failure? I mean, I think I'm still going to leave that in just a little while, but... Once I get those defenses, I can just go straight for Dragon Call. That seems kind of ridiculous. But I am without Zari, so maybe not the most ridiculous thing ever. Um, I don't think I have a lot of summoning curses, though. Oh, Hydras with cute hats would make you want to hold tab to give them a hug. <laughs> I'm not sure about the idea of hugging a Hydra. But hey, at least it will be a very, uh, very good hug with all the heads. Okay, it's gonna go berserk, right? Or she's gonna die. I guess those sharks aren't as bad as they thought. Or maybe they are. If one of those got berserk and moved up to me, which would be very quick once it got berserk, I could be in trouble. This era of stones is kind of an auto explore nightmare. Like, every stone stops you auto explore. Interest plant is fine, but I don't have a ring. So I've got Amputation, Gels, Gravat. I. Hmm. I've heard good things about Gels, Gravat, but like, it is translocations. We'll see. I'd rather get the summon Hydra going first, I think. Not Hydra, got that one going already. Uh, the the dragons. They'll go up pretty soon. That's a good time to go up. All right, well that second is pretty bad. So next second, I guess. It's basically the same spot, except for some reason without all the creatures. Uh, I'm sensing something. What was that? Oh, an abyss entrance. So I guess I've got the forest with the abyss entrance as my lair ending. Thanks, so Ash and Zari for telling me exactly what I've got going here. I mean, I guess Ash and Zari is a bit like that with like the temporary portals and stuff. You know exactly where they are. This one is actually, I think it makes me slightly stealthy, but it makes my hydras faster. So it's actually not too bad. Um, I don't need a blade hands. Okay. What does this do next to me? Can I just... Down I can charm it, right? 30%? Might be able to root set. Ah, no. No, that's not gonna work. I gotta try butterflies. Okay. Come on, Hydras. There we go. They did get it eventually. No, that was really bad. I, I thought one of those guys was like next to me. Oh, you tried Gels Gravon. It was very good as a semi-controlled bling. Yeah, because if you're like up against the wall, sometimes it can be, uh, can actually work as like a full-on blink, right? Oh, wait, this dude's faster than water, is it? Oh, huh. Whoops. <laughs> that wasn't quite right. I, I didn't realize those guys were fast at swimming. Bad timing on the timeouts there. They will time me out just so they get up to the enemies, but that's, uh, there's some hydras for you. Doesn't last very long at all. Do I have enough rig for something? No, uh, not enough rig. Enough money for a rig? It doesn't look like it. Hey, thanks, Zash and Zari, for stopping the teleport trap. That's always really nice. I think that's my first sauceless malevolence I've been 
protected against. In fact, it might be the first one to actually go off for the- No, it might be mine to actually burn the Sorcerer's Blevins before. Oh, damage was nice too the first time, uh... First time that hit enemies, right. It is 7th level. I'll think about it. If I end up getting the Malign Gateway, I might go grab it at the same time. I need to back up here, maybe. Yeah, because I'm losing all my dudes, unfortunately. Because these frogs are just blinking around all over the place. Uh, the Hound was very competitive there, but didn't quite survive the Komodo Dragon. I'm surprised it got that far in the fight, though. Like, I was totally expecting that one to die a lot earlier. Man, these uh, blink frogs block way so much of my magic just uh, running away from me and forcing me just to summon a new hydras when the old ones time out. That almost set off the alarm trap. It probably would have been fine, though. Wait, it's only level 6? Wait, it's level 6? Maybe. Hold up. Might already be level 6. Oh, it is only level 6. Huh. Right, it was the Manifold Assault that was level 7 now. Right, that makes sense, I guess. Um, do I want Fortune Rage Combat? I mean, it's okay, but I don't think I have a ring yet. Nope, still waiting on those, uh, waiting on the money, but that's fine. Oh. Come on, Hydra. Oh, come on, Hydra. I've got a lot of magic points here. There we go. That got rid of it. But this guy can corrode me. I might just back up a little bit. It's kind of fast. There we go. Oh, it's shaped it as well. What do I want? Do I just get, like, summoning to, uh... 27? I don't know if that's too much. I gotta give it a try, because it's on hard, so it wouldn't actually be in 27, so I could still get a title. I got the Dragon School, but it's still like 90% failure, so... It's going to take a little bit of work to get that one actually castable. Oh, no. Okay, I need to attack the Unseen Horror. There we go. That's better. I'm glad I held out the Unseen Horrors earlier when I had less um, ways of dealing with them. And I kind of waited just a little while... <laughs> Although it's always funny when, like, you have a spell, like, I don't know, 4% failure or something, or 10% failure, and you don't get any miscasts, and you get it down to 1%, and you start getting all the miscasts. But that's often just because you use it more. Ooh, this could be good. There's a nice-looking book. Um... Oh, the brainworm's gonna drain my magic points, although it's probably fine, except there's another one. Try hide around this little corner. There we go. So we got a radiate fulsome fuselage. Teleport trap, sure. I don't need the acid dragon scales. Um this character never get anything for conjuration. I got a little bit of stuff for conjuration. I could try and get uh, Fulsome Fuselage is such a high level. That's the reason I haven't got a castable before. Whoa. Um, I reckon I gotta teleport out of here. Oh, ow. That's bad. Do I have to use a blink? Can't do this with butterflies. I'm gonna try a healing potion, but I hope that's not a mistake. Um. Right, well, the healing potion does the trick, but yeah, definitely getting electrocuted by all those guys was a bit of a problem for me. I don't have the money, definitely don't have the money to go buy myself the Resist Electric Ring, which I think was the next um, item on my list of things to buy anyway. Alright, what have we got? We've got some more fear? Sure. I don't think that's going to affect any of these guys, though, because these are all things from the Abyss, and they're probably all like demons and that sort of thing that will be immune to the fear, but hey, it's a good scroll to have in general. 
strides, sure, whatever. Rage, fortitude, um, sure, whatever. I just dump it on there so I got a little bit more pioneer. Not sure that does too much more for me. I think it just makes my curses more powerful. So I'm now at 75% fail of the dragon's call. Right, well, where do I want to go next? I can go... Uh... Dungeon to 12, I guess? The Orcish Mines could be good for some money, though. Yeah, Dungeon 12, I think. Looked like a library over here, but I don't think it had any actual books in it. I just had, like, a random hand axe. Um... Oh, come on. Try to go down the staircase will do. A lot of guys. Nah. That ain't quite worth it. I got one more staircase right. Before I run into problems. I was more of these library areas with scroll of fog. Something here. Rope of fire resist. I mean, I can't wear a rope, so. Uh, I've tried to hide by the hydras for a little while there, yeah, but I, I, yeah, I mean, the hydras weren't going to last long enough, but apparently they did the trick. What about that, uh, like, uh, you're down the altar or something, because there's a lot of zombies around here, and there's definitely some sort of altar in here. I don't know, my bet's you're, no, it could be Kiku, actually. I'm gonna go with Yordel now, but I feel like Kiku is my second choice of what this older is going to be. Alright, I can get a little bit more intelligence, bring it up to 21. I also got a little bit of strength for some reason. I guess Octopus just randomly get that. 63% of the dragon school, yes, yeah, making progress. That's not where I want to go. I want to go look at the older in here, see what it is. Um, it is in fact Yordel now. Oh, I'll just get my magic back before I go fight a Cyclops. I wonder if the Hydras could get barbed. They probably can. It might not show a little icon for them. I'm not sure. Probably does. Seem to remember there being a thing about something not showing an icon, like one of the statuses that actually does affect enemies, and I can't remember exactly which one it was. Oh, give it over to the inventory. Um, Fortitude cutting, I mean, that's alright, but I don't have anything to cast, do I? Nope, uh, hold on. I got an evasion ring here. Shields, dodging, stealth, I mean, sure, it's alright. I'll just dump it on this evasion ring, I guess. Yeah, I like those are actually skills I use. Maybe not so much as stealth, although I could get some stealth. Uh... I wonder how bad it would be for me to put on this shield here. Let's go give it a try. Um, oh, right, my shield's cursed, isn't it? Hey, money, that might be enough. I can probably go buy something, probably even a ring or something. So let's go. Uh, yeah, the resist, the lettering, resist, cold, resist, corrosion one sounds pretty good. I can just blow up the resist, corrosion one. Um, which I should do right now, because I think I'm going to shatter my chains, because I've actually got a full set of rings. Where's the resist, corrosion? It's going to be hard to see, because it's got other stuff on it. Uh, resist, corrosion, fortune, sorcery, that's the one. Let's go blow it up. Um, it's over this really good ring, so I've got to resist everything if they puff negative. Even Willpower's sitting on a couple of pips, which is nice. Oh, what? Whoops. <laughs> That's the actual staircase down here. Did I fake that to 54%? I probably made it slightly worse than Dragon's Cool, but that doesn't look that much worse. And if I can get a, like, some sort of summoning curse or something, I might be able to make this work.
What other rigs were I sa was I saving up for? So I got the cadets made, got the fire willpower one. I don't have enough coal. I actually do have enough coal resist for that now. Got the coal resist minus a little bit of dex plus strength of fly one. I don't know, there's probably some of those that are like mildly better than what I've got. Like, uh, I guess uh, I got a basic flight one. I could swap it out with a slightly better one, that sort of thing. Ooh, what have we got? Yara's father of Rav, like passive Columbia to Kiba's dance. I know I'm to Takas to Kiba's dance this time around. Wait, where does what? The dolls are kind of weird. I guess they're leading to just books. Well, not real books. One of them was real books, so um, I gotta go check out the orcs. They might have some chops for me. They often have some sort of bookshops, but it's really random what they have. Cutting and Fortitude. Uh, no, I think I'll wait for something a little bit better. Cutting wasn't something I wanted right. It was uh, dodging. Oh, actually, dodging shield stealth. Um. See, that's not bad. I might just dump that on my ring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those are, those are basically things I do use. So, yeah, it's worth having, I think. Okay, Adam, don't let that one get next to me. That could take me out of a couple of hits, I think. So I only got, a, what, just over 100 health. So I got some evasion. Don't have much shield right now. What was the curse on my shield? Let's go take a look at that, because I might want to blow it up. It's Sorcery Fortitude. Oh, yeah. Um, the only disadvantage of blowing it up is it makes the dragon school further away, which is currently on 50% failure. No, oh, whoops, I marked myself. It's probably fine. There's not much of this level left. Um I gotta blow it up. It'll make the will make the dragons go further away, but I reckon it's better worth getting a better shield here. Let's blow this up. Put on this one. So I'm currently, yeah, smack up to 63% failure, which is a little bit of a shame. I'm pretty sure that's the only time I got any real failure on it. Everything else is just like 1% or whatever. She was especially nice when I get like bolted by all these, um, all these little cobalt dudes. I'll just go upstairs and get my magic points back. I think there's still another one of those cobalts. Is that distortion? It's Venom? That's Venom's fine. So she does blink around, which could be a bit of a nuisance, but it wasn't too bad. I don't know what that crossbow is doing. I'll just pull around this corner if it's following. It's not really following. But yeah, it keeps on trying to shoot me even with my creatures on the way, which I suppose is fine. At least I got 15 shield net value now, so I'm kind of defended for a long opponent at least. Alright, that's a priest standing by the looks of things. I gotta... Gotta keep my distance, because it's gotta be endless priests. Um Yeah, I mean those are the ones where you just gotta make sure you wander back quite a bit instead of wandering in and you should be fine. Good my guys did not get dispelled. I was kinda worried that they can't constantly get dispelled, but uh Lots of the summoners do focus on summoning creatures rather than dispelling your own guys, but not always. Um. Alright, definitely time to retreat back. Um. What am I getting right now? I guess I'm just getting the something. It's getting kind of expensive. Do I just get... I might just get a little bit of spellcasting to go with it. Um... How much does that shield costing? 12? I won't get any more just yet. Just, uh, that is another way of getting my spells more castable. Get the... 
shields up so I get less penalty but for that one. It's also nice because it gives me more shield value. Why am I not maxed out of party right now? Am I missing... I mean, I guess I haven't now done my shield. I haven't done my hat because I don't have a hat yet. Uh, guys are just going for their base cook. I guess that's fine. If someone's silly, maybe they couldn't see some of those guys. Some of them might be invisible, I'm not sure. Alright, well, I should probably clear out the staircase, see where it goes. Uh, I mean, just a tiny area. I pretty much already knew about half that area because I had a uh, Ashazari mapped anyway. The new Ashen Zari map is kind of interesting, so it's not just a, like a random area, but instead it does anywhere which would be in sight if there weren't walls in the way. Let's try pulling them almost around the corner. Didn't quite work to pull them around the corner. Just gives this guy less chance to like uh, spell my creatures before I pull it around and stuff. Rome willpower doesn't matter. I gotta check if there's actually anything useful here. I mean, just all oh, the, well, the weapons are gonna show up. I was kind of trying to see, like, other stuff, like, where there were hats, which is unlikely. Woo. Rage combat devices. Nah, I'm not gonna worry about that one. I just gotta hold out on the curse until I got something better to put on this shield. Because I, I don't know. The shield's probably nothing too special, but I'll probably replace it at some stage. What have we got? Come on. No, it's not a bookshop. It's a... It's a, like, a potion shop? That's not bad. Um... What else have we got? Another potion shop. So another heal wounds here. Another brilliant here. That DJ is reasonably cheap, although it's selling its to two, unfortunately. That's just an armor, whatever. I uh, got another heal wounds. Got a dex ring. How worthwhile is that dex ring? What else is one of my options? I got the fly versus cold. I got the fire willpower. I mean, why don't I even swap out with the fire willpower? But it's going to swap something out. I'm not sure. Probably a strength one or something. I can swap out the fly one for the other fly one. Um. Maybe I should go do... Yeah, let's go get a bit more cold resist. The minus stakes is going to hurt my defense a little, but it's probably fine. Alright. There's also an amulet here. Hold up. Um, <laughs> That's my only choice. This amulet or go home. Alright, well, I guess I get the amulet. It's fine. It's only Acrobat, I'd rather have some magic region or something, but it'll do for now. Where do I have to go? Dungeon level 13? I just gotta go down to the bottom of the dungeon, I think. Oh, I map one further than the range of sight, I see. So it does actually count me even when I... Can... Uh... When there's no, like, no walls around. Wait, did I even put on that new ring? No, I got a new amulet instead. I guess that makes sense. Uh, what was the curse right now? Rage devices. Now I'm gonna wait for something slightly better. Not that this amulet. I mean, I don't know how long this amulet's gonna last. This resist negative, which is whatever. Um, the acrobat, which is decent, I guess. For oh, Fortune Companions. Okay, well, that's uh, pretty good. So I might put that on the amulet rather than the shields. There we go. So that means I'm 38% failing the summon dragons. Uh... I wonder if I'll get that going in time for my lab branch. Probably not quite, I'd imagine. So why are my guys not attacking this guy? Is it because... I don't know. It might have been hard for them to get to it or something, is what I'm thinking. Also, this guy can do a 
Uh, I get a, a 20 something percent. That's not too bad. Um, don't care about the long sword. I will quickly take shields as a. Uh, I was taking kite shield, so if I do curse this one, I can just blow it up or whatever. Not that I'm gonna curse just yet. Oh, that's the wrong side. Of the lava. Oh, was that a. That looked like a jewelry shop. I should definitely check that one out. Can I get some dragons, please? Ha, <laughs> look at that. The dragons are dungeon level 13. I kind of love Ashton Zari sometimes. There's an even bigger shield here, which I won't be able to use yet, but I might be able to get it at some time, so where is it? There's uh, the good old tower shield in there. Um, oh, what's the amulet? Not the amulet. Oh, I can't wear a scarf. Never mind. For some reason, I thought octopus could wear scarves, but no, they cannot. Uh, did any of these dudes even notice me? Guess not. Okay. So they're guarding. That's just a scarf, unfortunately. It's a scarf of shadows even, which wouldn't even be that useful. So I'm done there. I've got to go down, is it, for the potion shop? Oh, wait, a jewelry shop, I mean. Yeah, it looks like I've got to go down. Oh, an acquirement. I don't even know what I need to acquire with this character. But I won't say no to an acquirement. Uh... All right, so it can give me a granite talisman or an orb of two willpower, seven magic points of resist electric and channeling. Fascinating. I mean, willpower is fine, but I've, I've uh, magic points are fine. Do I just want to get myself a granite talisman? You think the gold? Yeah, I mean, the gold's a decent option. Get like 350 gold. Um, I'll see what that shop has going first. But no, the gold is definitely an option because I'll probably find a grind talisman anyway. I'm not sure if I really want to get one. It would help with my armor class and I'd go to all the defenses. Wait, do I know... Do I know where the staircase are? Just the one I came up, unfortunately. Hey, there we go, that's my staircase, so not that one, it must be the next one, because that's my last staircase here, so there's a uh, protection. There's a dragon talisman of ethics, okay. Sure. Ah, uh, ring of magical power, protection. Can I swap out this thing for protection? I mean, probably the flight, you know what? I should just blow up the flight or something and grab protection. How much does it cost? Kind of expensive, I don't really think I can afford it. So if I get, like, 350 gold, I'd be on, what, 500? 600 maybe? Wait, no. 600? Right, so I can't quite even afford that. Um, I'll add it to my shopping list. Those are kind of expensive, are they? They're not even like antiques or something. I don't know. Who's this? That looks like a unique, right? How's it gonna work? But I'm gonna try some dragons. That's <laughs> gonna kill Francis. Yup. Mally Covenant Companions, that's alright. What have I got? My shield? Sure. And I think that makes this Dragon School a bit better. It's on 27% failure. Is that something I can live with? Is that just too bad? Um. A Nodges Bog, Bow Clutch. I gotta try the Dragon School, but uh. Don't it brings in tough names as horrors, right? Because it brings in ninth level ones or whatever, ones for ninth level spells. It was actually only relatively recently that I found out the normal nameless horrors are identical. I was like, oh, that actually explains a lot. Like, before when I'd be doing the Dragon's Call and uh, failed and it got really tough nameless horror. Or other high level spells. Right, so that's that level done. Let's go down again. I have like a wizardry or something. That would be kind of nice. Hmm. Unfortunately, two of my staircases are next to that area, so I'm just going to have to take the staircase. Whoops. Oh, what? I magically contaminated myself to the point of getting a mutation. That was a bit awkward. Um. 
Yeah, okay, maybe the maybe the dragons were a bad idea there. Why do I even go in terms of the staircase? I don't think this one's the best one anymore. Now that we've got nameless horror snakes to them, which is kind of a shame. It's a summon nameless horror! Oh yeah, the game's kind of the summon nameless horror. Okay, what is it? Uh E for dragon, sure. No dragon. Um Try this one, but they didn't get a huge chance to move. Um I think this guy's got wait, so he got 30 something health? Maybe it's not quite as tough as I thought. I thought those were like a hundred health or something. Alright, well let's try going back to the staircase. I gotta try the dragon school. Oh again I got the nameless heart, man. I think I could just bring this dude up a staircase. Oh. Oh. I'm feeling a little wounded now, but I'm still fine. Um. No, I still can't quite afford that potential. I feel like it would be kind of nice. Oh, just drain away magic. Um, I guess I got it now. It really is summon nameless horror, though, that spell. Okay, is that the staircase I just used? It is, isn't it? Sorry. I mean, it's 90% failure. I thought I'd be doing a little bit better. Name is horror there. Hmm. That means I can probably go down the staircase, right? Go try the dragon school. Hey, I actually gotta drag it out. Alright, good. That's a nameless horror. I'm gonna pull these guys up, but the dragon should deal with them once I get them up. That did a little bit of clearing. Uh Unfortunately, not going to be able to keep my dragon school going. But that was basically me making things harder for myself a lot. Uh, there's going to be two dragons in here. I wonder what colors. I mean, we've got the fire one there. And the ice one there. That's fine. But I mean, it doesn't really matter for me what colors they are. I was still kind of curious. Companion's Fortune is not bad. What do you mean I got nothing to curse? No! Uh, I need a hatch, like, right now. I'm not gonna manage that. That was a good curse, uh, but nope. I'm not gonna manage it. Oh, well, I'll check out this book here. See what we've got. Probably just gonna not worry too much about curses right now. So we got Mystic Blast, I, uh, yeah. I will go try the dragons, and I failed once. Come on, the dragons gotta be able to get rid of this guy, there we go. I can't see another one of these nameless horrors, so I'll go get my magic points back before I try and deal with it, there we go. Yeah, we're still 16% failure. I really do need a wizardry. I mean, I, I could totally put it on if I found one, right? That's the last level of dungeons. So I just gotta go to the swamp, I think. It's either out of the spider's nest, but I don't feel ready for the spider's nest. So I just gotta go to the swamp. No. No. Not summon nameless horror. I gotta have to teleport because there's too many of them here. Even with my dragons coming out, it's uh, hard to deal with them. Alright, well, hopefully going to the swamp will be a bit better next time. Um... I don't want to accidentally open this, so we've got some ghosts, lots of ghosts. Roof's ghost, they got Bolt of Fire, Radiant, Bombard, Orbit Destruction, Fireball, Freezing Cloud. What are they? they oh, Deep Elf Conjure of Sith Mana, that makes sense. That checks out with all their spells. We've got Ophangif's ghost, a Troll Fighter of Che, they do 50 damage, have 170 health, they look pretty tough. Got, uh, Phil Nicker's ghost. Wait, they're deep. 
elf codra? Where was the other deep elf codra? Hold up. They got like the same spell list. 72 health. Are they the same ghost just with a different name? I think so. Was one D was one D hundred? The night jaw is one D hundred. Right, yup, that's pretty bad. And it's Jorniaz's ghost. There are Coglin Chaos Knight of Zom. Uh the classic Coglin Chaos Knight. Oh, what is the book? But yeah, that's way too tough, especially the spell castle. There's cause fear. I mean that's another way of getting dragon skills. Oh, it's my gravity tambourine. That's a shame. Yeah, well. I'm gonna miss out with my gravitab breed for quite some time by the looks of things. Beguiling cutting, did I even know I don't care about curses, do I? Um Okay, don't care about the teleports here though. I should take this dude out. I can just keep it away from, like, uh, plants or something. I mean, they could probably even take it out even if it was next to plants, but... Alright, let's back up a bit. Can I finally afford that protection? I probably could. What would I take off? Um... Did I ever sway from some of the basic fly with a proper fly? No. I mean, I don't really need the fly, so I could probably just blow up the fly. It would hurt my spellcasting chances, so I might just wait on that just a little while, actually, I think. I mean, I'm summoning Hydra into shoals and stuff. Yeah, because the Hydra still gets a bonus speed, which is nice, at least. So that's something. So it could be Hydra versus Hydra fights. Oh, ooh, well, there's a love trap there. Probably wouldn't have mattered even if Ashton Zari had def defended me from it. Also, I don't need the Spirit Guardian. That's ridiculous. Staircase looks fine. All right. How am I resist? Oh, I've got two cords, one of everything else. Wait, my willpower's on two as well. That's not too bad. I don't like having this dude next to me. So that Hydra's not friendly. <laughs> Apparently one of those shambling mangroves was making more, um, wasps than it was meant to for someone. Because they've only been to spit out, like, up to three wasps, I think, and someone got to spitting out, like, six wasps or something ridiculous. Which, uh, thankfully didn't happen to me. I think it only spat out a couple of wasps, which is fine. What was I gonna bri- I was gonna blow up my flight ring and turn it into something. I can't even remember watch anymore. Um... Yeah, not sure. Probably the protection. There are other options, though, that aren't protection. I'll beguiling companions. I mean, it's got companions on it, which is always useful. How's my somebody going? It's actually doing really well. I've always, like, maxed it out. Whoa. I don't like that. That's two of my staircases. I don't like this at all. I wonder who made this ball. This was just mean. Probably gonna have to go up. I was one of these dudes as well. At least they don't have the dudes to take you off staircases. Um, I can't charm the ghoul. I can charm the druid. Okay, I can't even charm these dudes. I gotta bring the ghoul upstairs. But they can't bring the tactical monstrosity upstairs. That would be a terrible try to try, try that. What's the other staircase they're gonna exclude off? Well, it basically just leaves me one staircase, so they gotta hope it's good. Um. Oh, hey, Mara. I think I might have Mara under control, but we'll see. There are other things as well. I'm hoping I'm pulling some of those from the other staircase, but I don't see the exact creatures. Um... Good, Mara's gone. Everything else seems entirely distracted by everything I've got out here. Good, that was definitely from the other staircase as well. Um... Good, something's reached its target. Uh... I might get a little bit of shields... Little bit of fighting. 
Dragon Skill is still not what I wanted, probably because I need more shields, I guess. Or maybe I guess more spell casting as well. Probably just because I have no wizardry, actually. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably the real reason. Uh... Alright, go for the real thread there instead of this uh, guy that summoned it. Well, uh, go for the guy that summoned things instead of all the summons. I need my demon whip or anything here. Alright, so I saw, saw something coming from off screen, I thought, but I didn't really see what it was causing it. Oh, good, another blink. I do need one of those. I don't have a huge number of blink, but I wouldn't expect to at this point in the game. Uh, what's up with this dude? Distortion. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Like, there's no way that guy ends up next to me. Ooh, 9% failure is not bad. I'll try something to hide her to get these guys to blow up. I managed to avoid one of them. I mean, I guess that's better than getting, like, all three of them blowing up against me or something. That would have been not ideal at all. Man, if you had to go all those guys that blow up and ones just surround you at the same time, it could have been the end of a character or something. I've got to remember that, uh... Uh, like the bizarre commutation. I think I'll reset it. It's not like super terrible. It's just I don't want to accidentally attack and then end up being really bad. Minus magic points, 2 AC, genetic potential. That's probably fine. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of minus magic points is not ideal, but uh, the AC is excellent, so I'll definitely take that. I went down here. Everyone's just dead. Presumably they started that way because I don't think I killed all those guys. Anyway, I'm going to quiver up the dragon's core. Cool. I think that's probably the one to have on my quiver. It's definitely the one I use the most. Uh, I don't have a thing to cast. I still don't have a hatch game. Stop trying to offer me hats when I don't have one. I have a frost? Alright. Any potential for cold ring? I mean, I got one. Puddle's the other side of the map. I'm going to have to try and heal off a bit before I go to this one, I think. I should retreat out because I'm going to lose my dragon's call. Uh... Do I have any magic regen? We're just going to make this a bit harder to get to, but I know where it is, so it's going to make it a little bit easier to get to. Guess that's going to um, sort of even out. I at least hope it will sort of even out anyway. Uh, hey, Nicola. If I'm just not near him, I don't think he can chain lightning me anymore because he'd just get my dragons, I'm pretty sure. And I do have the resist electric, so like one or two uh, chain lightnings from him probably wouldn't kill me. Uh, bust down the door. Might get a little high from there because it's not quite killing things. I got like two cold resist, I think that's perfectly fine. Lacey Archway. Steady correctly. Okay, good. I can heal up. And I can probably go drop something so I don't need to stop fire the stuff. Death. Keep that tower shield on me. Um, I don't think I need that fire resist hand axe. Uh, I've got the polymorph now. What else do I have? The equipment. Oh, the equipment's money, isn't it? I can leave the noise outside. I should turn that equipment into some money. Uh, mine's not that useful. I think there's plenty of room. Okay. So the first one, yeah, because I didn't really need the Granite Talisman. Let's see what the second one is. That's a Ring of Wizardry, a plus one hat. I'm taking the hat. Might be my only chance to get a hat, so. Uh, plus two hat, I guess. It's probably worth enchanting. Can I cast it? Self-range. Nah, that's not that good. Okay, let's go and see what we've got. These are fine. Just little things so far, just like the little beasts and stuff. But there just should be a hard ice cave, right? If I get really lucky, though, that might be what I need. A tower shield to cold resist. Yeah, not a tower shield, a kite shield, but still. Yeah, let's blow up my current shield. It will hurt my cast chance, but I think it's probably fine. Um... 
There we go, a little bit of cold resist. So I'm on 13% failure with the summon Hydras. Yeah, so I lost 4% cast chance. I'm going to put on a curse on something as soon as I can. I love how the dragons appear like around the enemy here, which is kind of really helpful when it comes to killing those statues. They don't have to run up. Had it up, yep. So I got five armor glass. I was resist electric boots. Well, if only they were like tentacle gloves or something, but no. Hydra's gonna hold this off for some time. Oh, whoops. Ah. Oh, no, I, I miscast my summon dragons, didn't I? I just noticed that I didn't seem to have any dragons up despite trying to cast the spell. Oh, that's probably enough for waiting around there. I'll just move back. But uh, the guy's going to be around that corner one at a time. We're perfectly tame for me to deal with the dragons. Cool. I shouldn't run too much for here because there's probably something a little bit tougher than just a uh, little like ice, not ice beast, uh, rhyme drake or something. There's probably, probably a giant, maybe. We'll see. Wait, really? Nothing? This might not be the end, so it's a uh, plus inch robe that I can't wear. Who knows what it there is here. Didn't look that tough. I was totally expecting this to be a frost giant. Still a chance for one, though. Oh, a rhyme, uh, what's it called? Oh, what are those dudes called? And, like, an icy defender. Um, I can't remember what they're called. There's some socks. That's what you want, the. These guys weren't iron bound frost on. That's what it's called. Yeah, you totally, totally need some socks, I think, with this character to defend my tentacles. At least get them warm anyway. Totally give cold resistance. Get socks of cold resist. Uh, okay. And it wasn't a recording as well, but they didn't live long enough to actually matter. Don't even have Sea Invisible anymore. I guess I'd still do. They kept the Sea Invisible ring. Oh, there's some Frost Giants. Right, so I guess the things in here are actually reasonably tough. Um, so there's not that many of them, so I can just take them out with dragons. I gotta love the dragons. Cool. Oh, hey, there we go. There's my eventual plan, the tower shield of core resist. So I can drop the basic tower shield. What else we got? Uh, summon ice beast, power frost eruption, sculpt simulacrum, push the might. Magic regen outlet. Hmm. Magic regen is fine. Uh, keep my current one for now. I'm gonna curse something up. Do I have a curse going right now? No. I gotta, yeah, I gotta try and get my hand and stuff cursed, I think. Oh, you have Ash the Invisible? Wait, so I can probably just blow up this the Invisible Ring at some stage. But I'll try and curse some other stuff up first. Um. Okay. Let's get out of here, I guess. Yeah, it's true, I do get the Ashes already see invisible, which is kind of nice, I guess. But in terms of, like, Ashes Zari characters, this one's character has a pretty good luck, um... Like, in terms of finding my spells, so then it's really tough being Ashes Zari when you get the right spells, and you can just kind of get them online. Like, how many other characters are casting dragons, called Swamp with a shield and everything? Okay, do we have a Linnean Hydra? I said I got ordinary Hydras. I might get a couple of my own Hydras. Alright, dragons, I need you to go defend me. Oh, we do have a Linnean Hydra. Um... Well, I got some dragons out right now. Oh, I'm losing my dragons. Cool. Can I get it with roots? Hey, that little and Hydra. There we go. That got rid of it. Yeah, that's got a massacre when it was rooted and my guys were surrounding it. That was also dragon versus dragon fights, which of course my dragons are going to win. What else have we got here? Yeah, it should be a root in here somewhere.
Yeah, got more enlightenment. I do actually kind of need that. Introspection beguiling. What was beguiling again? I know introspection's good, so it's con- uh, No, it's Hanks' translocation. I mean, that cast is probably good enough. I can put it on... Put it on the hatch, because the shield I do actually plan on swapping. So I got Tempest in failure again. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm trying to get some of these skills up again. Although, something's dropped down a little bit. Let's just get that back to 27. Apparently, I lost a curse that might have been buffing it up, or maybe it's uh, maybe just got less curses. No, I've got about the same curses as normal, I think. All right, where do I want to go? I'm going to go to Spiders or Vault. So I'm going to go to Vault, actually. Um, can I have any invisibility potions for the Spider Nest? I'm not sure I do. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the Vaults and then do the Spider's Nest. Not terrible, I'll just do things. Right, my is probably like 30% or something, 37%. Oh, it's actually quite a bit higher than 30%. Um, Grow a pair of antenna? That means I still keep my hat, but does that do much for me? I'm not sure that really does. Um, Don't I like already detect creatures? So like that kind of doesn't do a lot. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of not very good with Ad Ash and Zari, but I guess Horns wouldn't have worked either, so... Not the worst thing in the world. Okay, I can hide behind Hydras. They're dying, but I think this is alright. I go to try the heavier shield, but it might just be a little bit too heavy. 14% failed the dragon's score. I've got 24 shield value, though. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm still getting some skills to help with that. I might actually keep this on. That's actually not looking too bad. You know what? I might even, like, jump in a giant armor on it, I think. Because I really don't reckon I'm going to get a better shield than that. I mean, sure, I don't really need the cold resist, but hey. And it will help against all the archers here. And I guess the acrobat will help as well. Because I do spend some of my turns running around instead of actually attacking myself. Um, or waiting, which also does the trick. Because I'm just waiting for my dragons to the trick. So acrobat actually, in terms of, uh, yeah, acrobat's actually pretty good for this character. In terms of characters that get to use it. Like, sure, I do spend some of my turns uh, doing summoning spells, but not that many. Also, I should check for more summoning spells. I don't need any, but like, oh, whoops, that's not right. I don't want a summoner. I want summoning. Uh, okay. So those skills still say they take summoning, and the skills still called summonings. I don't even know why the S was added to the end of that. It's kind of strange. But I feel like the spells should probably be updated to use summonings as well if the skills called summonings now. Uh, Fortune, Rage Combat, nah, it's, um, I don't even know if I want to, like, curse out my shield, honestly. Could blow up a ring and go get myself another one. I mean, I don't need the call from the spring, that's kind of silly. Um, let's go see, so there's... Dex, Slaying, Protection, Protection might not be too bad. There's also the Fire, Willpower, Willpower's not too bad either. Um... Ooh. I should grab one of those, I'm just not sure which one. Hey Boris, I think he's fine. Ooh, my dragons aren't really defending me from all the destruction right now. There we go, he's destroyed. I'll finish off this level and then I'll think about getting some rings. What's in here? What do these guys do to me? They can polymorph, vitrify... Wait, was the other thing Mind Burst? Okay. And Ashen's already protecting me from the confusion, so that's not too bad at least. Um... Oh, Death Talisman. Maybe. I'll think about it. Alright, well, anyway, uh, it's gonna hurt my casting chances, but I might go get the Willpower Fire Ring. Or the Protagion. No, I might get the Willpower. It's quite a, kind of useful right now, so let's go do it. Um... 
I can maybe even get both. Okay, so I gotta go below up, which is... Oh, wait, not cast. This is the problem, though. This is what's gonna hurt my casting chance. Blow up to see invisible. Um... A 12% fail. That's not too bad. What was the other thing on here? So there was a potential somewhere. I could go buy that. What would I blow up next? Probably the flight, right? Um... I won't do it just yet. I'll go do vaults level 2 and then I'll... Once I manage to curse up another item, I'll go back to blowing up rings. Good curse of agony, rhyme blight, sublimation of blood. Would a rhyme blight affect... Well, that wasn't the right thing. Would a rhyme blight affect my own dudes or... Not... I don't know entirely how that would work, because I might be able to get, like, a rhyme blight going, I'm just not sure. I'm gonna have to go up very soon, aren't I? That's probably now. Oh, wait. I stuffed that up. Oh. If the dude sealed the... Oh, okay, I'll just teleport. That's a shame. Dude sealed the staircase. I should have gone up when I had the chance earlier. I forgot about that, dude. Um, one of those guys has managed to catch me out for a while, but apparently they're, they're still catching me out occasionally. Uh, it dropped my old shield, I think. I'm kind of adapting to be able to use this one. I'm down to ten percent failure again, which means actually I probably could go break a curse. I don't know. Whoa! Can I step back before it seals the door? Thankfully, I can step back before it seals the door. Um. Excellent, so we've got some good old amnesia here. I don't think I'm even short on spell levels. Wait, where is it? I've got 30 spell levels? No, I'm not really short on spell levels at all. I doubt this character's gonna get super short on spell levels or anything. Um, let me just back up a little bit. Low magic. I think I just go back to the staircase and then come back down instead of trying to do my dragon school right now. Oh, we got waiting. Can I, I just want to put it, I can eat meat, right? I get some adder jerky. Oh, yeah, looks like I can eat meat just fine. I got a shop in here trying to sell me a shield. Also, plus one crystal plate armor of fire in those times, too. That would probably be the most useful if you're like a uh, mountain dwarf, I'd imagine, because then you can charge it up. What's this? Oh. Also, shield of protection. Um, my coldness is down to two right now, and this one's better enchanted, but it, no, I think I'll keep with my cold resist one, it's just I don't necessarily have to, uh, come on, give me a couple of dragons, there we go, I got more scales in my body, excellent, that's exactly what I was seeing, I lost my, uh, Whatever it's called, my specialness, my uh, genetic potential, that thing. Definitely bring these shields up. Maybe even all the way to 25, I think. Alright, is it time to... Still don't have a curse for that rig. So I don't think it's time to break my curse just yet. I want to wait till I get one first. All right. I feel like item management is kind of easy with the octopodes because uh, it's basically just wear them all, all rage and malico, but not that one. I want something a little bit better than that. I mean, I could just do that, but like, it doesn't help me that much. It would only be really doing it for the piety, so no, I don't think I worry about that. Uh... 
I am 8% failure, which is kind of nice. I haven't been getting too many nameless horrors. Right, so I got two more levels of bold, so I should definitely go down. Oh, the distant wind. Which one are these? So that's the distant wind. That's the... Oh, treasure trove. Okay. Well, the first thing to probably do is to go to the distant wind. I might not be able to clear it out, though. Um... Yeah, those ones can often be a problem, like you just run out of magic points or whatever. Don't you even get like little nameless horrors, that's not helping. I want my dude to go for the nameless horror, come on. Hey, there we go, I finally got someone that was willing to deal with the nameless horror. Quiet whistling, saying I have plenty of time to get in here, I should drop something. I'm gonna evasion ring, but I get that one. Man, I could blow up something for that one, um... I think the death tally has been outside because there's no chance of using that. Might do the polymorph and fire as well. Uh, child whip is useless. Brown whip is useless. Theory can leave the amnesia outside, but that's probably fine. Yeah, I got like uh, seven stars or something, so I should just go in. Dragon school's a bit noisy, but oh well. Uh, so not being able to see things half the time could make it a little bit hard to cool out the dragons, but I think this is doing just fine. Also, I'm surprised that guy didn't- oh, there we go, he's clearing the fog. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do that a little bit earlier. Let's go check on this ring. So we've got three in, seven decks, and a bit of strands. Man, I can't wait to blow up something here. Maybe I just blow something up. Um, sorcery elements. Oh, I'll just blow something up. It's a bit of a shame, but I uh, gotta blow up the flight or the strength. I think the flight is probably the first one to blow up. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I mean, I do lose my flight, but whatever. I'll uh, put on this one. I guess the strength would be a straight upgrade. But that gives me some more uh, evasion, more shield. My spellcasting actually got better because of the strength, I think. I only a sort of power, not with this character. It's not a stat stick, unfortunately, so it doesn't quite work for a summoner. We're in a couple of hydras, but I think this is under control. I probably shouldn't actually make attacks because it makes me more vulnerable to damage because my evasion goes down. Yeah, so I should probably just stick to uh, like moving around or waiting on the on the spot, I think. Alright, got another good old box of beasts. Oh. Let's just actually go with my weapon. Go inscribe this one with uh why is it scribe those things? Anyway, I guess it makes sense. I oh, hope it made sense to replace those inscriptions a lot. Uh, oh, well. Wait, how do you tell what your weapon does if you replace the inscriptions? I guess it doesn't matter. I probably could have just added it to the end of the inscriptions. It probably would have still worked. I don't actually know entirely how that works when you have multiple inscriptions or something. Got a book of touch, okay. A box of beasts, excellent. And there's also another ring down here, so this one's four and three strands. Man, I gotta blow up another thing. Okay, uh, I really need to start getting some curses, but every time I blow something up, it resets the timer. Do I put on the. Uh, I guess I put this one on. Don't need to see if it's on it, but hey, it's a little bit of vent. Um, what else is there? So I'm gonna keep the resist electric one. Gonna keep, I guess that evasion one's pretty good. Willpower's all right. Magic points all right. I could replace one of these with protector, but those aren't too bad right now. Fire resist, resist negative. No, I think the I think the resist are just fine with what I've got. I don't know if I can solve this game recalling, so I might tell my guys to go get it. Oh, when I shout at my dudes, I lose my um, extra bonus acrobat evasion, because it's only waiting and uh, standing still, or no, moving around, I mean, that actually do it, I guess. Because I know staircases don't do the acrobat, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, 
Because technically, it's a its own separate action. It's a take a staircase action. Oh, what's this? Uh, resist cold, strength, slay. Don't really need slay, but... Don't massively need the resist cold, but resist cold, resist electric. That was good resist corrosion, which is more useful. No, I don't really feel like that's super useful. Don't, don't attack. Just keep on. Keep on moving. Uh, I should probably... Well, some of these dragons are going to clear something out. That's a bit better. Got to love how well this is going, because these uh, Death Lucian Assaults aren't exactly known for going well with uh, a lot of characters. But no, it seems good damage does the trick. Someone's got a rig of ice, fly, resist, poison. Um, don't really want the ice. Fly's not that useful. Let's be go about lava, but there's not really much else to it because they can already swim. Yeah, I don't know. I got the resist poison from somewhere. I can't even remember where I got that one from anymore. It was one of these rigs, no doubt. Actually, oh yeah, it was the, uh, the one with the minus fire resist and stuff, but it only gives a lot of dex, so it's big. Uh, definitely was it with getting a bit of dex, because that helps a lot with my shield. Like, I got 28 shield value. I don't know what my evasion is, but I'm not moving. I can actually probably find out. Uh, 28 as well. Right. Charlatan Orb? Hmm. I, no, I definitely want better off my shield with this character, because they give so much shield value. This character's defenses are actually somewhat decent. Um, gotta focus on the actual summoner here. It's kind of hard to do, but I think now my guys might be able to focus it. There we go. Oops, I'm just trying to check for curses, but I think it's ages because I broke one of my items. Devices Fortitude. I mean, that's alright. So that tells me, like, evocation, uh, what's Fortitude? is like, shields or something. So I can put this on, I mean, anything, really. I might go with the Willpower Fire one or the Intelligence Dex, but I might go with the Intelligence Dex Strength one. That one seems pretty good. It's just, like, it generally enhances my stats, so it's a decent ring. But no, this is a good place for rings a lot of the time. Uh, I think it also can sometimes have spell books, but this time it seems to be mainly rings, which is exactly what you need with octopus. I mean, I guess there's a spell book here, right? And there's some weapons as well, but yeah, just mainly known for its rings. And I'm done. There's uh, still a sort of power which I was going to grab. There's, well, I mean, this, that thing's resist negative. That thing's resist fire resist negative. I think I'm just done. Let's just get out of here. I mean, that wasn't too bad. Three percent failing my drag school. I mean, I guess I got another curse going, right? Um, oh, come on, guys, take out. There we go. I think I'm okay now, but I might try and get back to a staircase and just uh, get my magic points back. Yeah, the dragon school didn't have a lot left. Oh, wait. Did I deal with all the guys already? Sure. Oh, goodbye, Asteria. That's a... He didn't last at all when he was surrounded by dragons. Do any of their attacks, I mean, I guess all their attacks are bolts which avoid his shield, which always helps when you can just ignore some of his main things. What to the other ghoul that I saw in like the swamp? Did I actually kill it? I suppose I did. Oh, hey, there's a natural hatch. There's a plus two hatch. I mean, that's what I would have had if I uh, had to charge up my... Uh, no, that's what I currently got because I had charged up my current one. But that's what I would have had if I didn't grab it off. What was it, an acquirement or something? I can't even remember how I got this hat anymore. Um...
Okay, more magic mapping. I feel like the magic mapping is not like hugely useful. Pod you devices. I mean, again, that's useful. So I can put on put on the fire willpower one. I think I'm keeping that one on because I need the willpower. Okay. Tropes, there's not a huge number of tropes that I can actually get, right? Because there has to be something that's like vaguely useful. There was a demon blade. Oh, I might be able to do that. Got a demon weapon, I got a demon trident. Well, never mind then. I have to wait till I actually get a demon blade, but I got a couple of enchant weapons. It does want a plus six, so. Hmm, we'll see. But I, I haven't been using my enchant weapon, so it should help with that at least. Oh. A little bit of a lag spike, not a huge one, just a little bit. Enough to make me wonder what's going on. Alright, so I got one more level of falls before I go to... What was the spider's nest, I think, when this character was my next target? Um... Devices for you, I mean, again? Sure, I can still use one of these, so do I put on my shield? Probably not, no, I'll put it on my ring, that'll do. So yeah, I mean, if I wanted to get some evocations, which I probably should, I got plenty of uh, help with that. Also, the shield looks like it's doing... Wait, why is the shield on? Is it at its target? Well, let me just go take the one off. I don't want to exceed my target there or something. It probably would have stopped itself next time we got XP. Um, what do we got here? We've got... Violet... Foxfire. Ball Lightning Silence Least Rap Deconstruct. I don't need the Poisons Handbook. book. There's a start of Poison Spells. Plasmium Ike Jolt Fires Electric Charge. Cactus Giant. I mean, the Cactus Giant's alright. It's not quite what I'm after. Ignition or Radiate. Um. That was also alright. Could go get myself an Ignition. I will probably actually have to spend a reasonable amount of piety just getting, like, invocations of this character. Like, sure, it does nothing for me, but it gets me a title, so... I don't know. Because I surely haven't gone through all the Ash and Zari titles, I doubt it, because I haven't played that many Ash and Zari characters. Nice little lyric, because it's got a good old blinking for me. Okay, fighting. Wait, what just reached the target? Something hit something. Evocation set a target. That's super cheap still. My spells are doing really good. What do I want to get? I mean, I might actually get the shields up to 27 base. Not base, uh, like a, a buffed one. I get the dodging up to like 20. I get the fighting up to like 20. Just try and get the um, physical defenses, I think, going. Because the dodging doing quite a bit for me with my 28 dexterity. Why does this thing is it can't open the door? It's just a brain. No wonder it can't open the door. It doesn't have any hands or tentacles or anything to manipulate the door with. Oh, hey, Donald. It's probably fine. Yeah, he doesn't survive at all. It's, it's quite uh, late on to be getting Donald, so you're really not that special at the moment. Um, do I want elements of a guy? Like, I don't even think I've got something to curse, because keeping the shield round for putting in enchant armor on. That's the problem like, the really big shields. They take so much enchanting that they're hard to curse up. Level 21. Uh, intelligence, I think, is the obvious thing to go. Like, I'm just going to get the intelligence. Make the spells more powerful and stuff. But the other option would be to get, like, uh, Dex or something. Just, like, uh, get more uh, defenses. But I think intelligence is the way to go with this character. I am a full spellcaster, after all. What have we got in here? We've got some curings. I've been eating a lot of those because I can't get confused. It's a brilliant mutation. Mutation's fine. Um, how's my willpower anyway? It's sitting on three. No wonder I've been leaving too many enlightenments, but it's still right. All right, well, I can charge my shield on plus four. I need four more enchant arms. That's actually quite a lot. And I can get my armor maxed out and then finally be able to dump a castle on it. Um, I was going to the spider's nest, I think. Do I actually have any invisibility? Maybe. Wait. 
I thought that it said, oh, it's got something else, doesn't it? What's it got? Stay invisible. Oh, that's disappointing. Like, I could already do that with Ash and Zari. It would be nice to have an item that I could just flick on and turn to be invisible because I could probably get the evocations, like, no problems because it's buffed up by Ash and Zari quite a few times. Because I got, like, all those endless, uh, devices curses at some stage. Sorcery introspection? Uh, I don't even have a thing to put it on. I mean, it's kind of like an okay curse. The introspection is good, but the sorcery is maybe alright, maybe not. Probably not the best. Probably one of the easier sides of the spider nest. Like, one of the easier times I'm going through because I left it quite late. Which always really helps. Um... I love that Elven caravan, just like the, all the dire elephants and their bulls and stuff, and then they just hang out. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I mean, I guess I get the right skills. Moth of Wrath, I might go up. I don't want to be like, oh, that's probably fine, actually. Whoa, look at all those. Okay, well, this is obviously the wrong stack. I think that's so many tower tells. They can't confuse me for still. I think I'm better off going down just anywhere else, really. That's rather close. Um, Somebody's gonna go for Zyke. It's not a problem yet. Actually, I should go up because I could get webbed up here. Uh, should definitely root some of these. Maybe I should have gone up a little bit earlier, but the dragons are kicking into action at least. There we go. There's an egg staircase. I should have three of them. Like, I might have cleared out pretty much all these guys. Yes, um, I mean, the Moth of Wrath finally dealt with, so I don't have to worry about having a whole swarm of berserk things around me anymore, which is kind of what I had to worry about before. Do I need an end? I don't even know what I need in terms of rings. Um, I could probably draw the strand. I don't think that's hugely useful. Especially if my shield value is going, like, pretty close to 27, I won't get much penalty. That was a solid spell, even without strength. In fact, I think, like, 27 shield value is, like, always no penalty from your shield or something. So you can just have as little strands as you want, and it will just work. Okay, this is fine. With another staircase. Companion's introspection. I mean, it makes always something anyway, so it's like, it doesn't really matter at this point. Oh, the moth. It's kind of a funny thing to say, it's like a summon, it's like, oh, I don't actually need something because it's already, already there, but it is. Hold on, Mike. I mean, I guess I can pull some of these in for a little while. I've not got a bad spot here. Oh, the of my magic starts getting drained, though. I'm going to need to go up. All right, well, I can probably go back to, like, one of the other staircases. That Mike would have cleared the out. Yeah, look at that. Looks pretty clear to me. Okay, Moth is gone. Uh, another one? Okay. Sure, Dove. Uh, sure. I like how my dragons can just see that, dude. I don't know if Ash and Zari helps my guys see anything. I know I can see things because of Ash and Zari, but I don't think my dudes can, which is a bit of a shame. But half the dragons can see invisible anyway, which is really nice. Oh, hey, Roga! How's this going? Have you tried your own uh, cosplay challenge there? <laughs> So I haven't really been keeping up with how that was going. I noticed a few more people got some wins for it, but that was, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I've been going rather well. I've been very lucky in the cosplay challenges so far. Um, <laughs> I don't imagine I'll be keeping my 
uh, streak going. These cosplay challenges. Do I just bring this dude upstairs? I probably do. Oh, it didn't even follow. It might have died on the way up or something. I don't know. Man, I think playing the melee octopus might have been a bad idea. These mage ones feel so much better. I mean, even early on when I was only using my weakest summoning spells, I was feeling pretty good. Although this character has had kind of um, very good luck. I gotta say that because I got like, Dragon's Call nice and early and stuff and all that sort of thing. Oh, good, but you haven't had any luck with Zanata Challenge yet? Ah, uh, yeah. What do you need for the Zanata Challenge? Is it like anything you need particular luck on, or is it just trying to survive? Um, I mean, I guess you gotta find two Kima Stars, but I feel like that was one of the less luck-based ones, which is kind of nice. But getting a Coglum to survive isn't always the easiest. I mean, I guess there's always luck with gear and stuff, but it's not uh, luck with any of the, like, point challenges at least. I don't think it is. What can we do here? Charge up to plus six. I'm getting close. Close to needing to curse something. Someone found like the whatever it's called, the one that surrounds me with uh, demons or abyssal creatures or whatever. It's Sums out the some horrible things. And I don't think I found a malign gateway either because that one might be usable. As well. Glad there's no, like, uh... Oh, there's a moth. I was gonna say, I'm glad there's no moths, but, uh, there's a moth there, so I think I should retreat back after they all die. Another one of the spiders dying. I think the gold dragons, pretty sure the gold dragons can see invisible. So we don't have to worry about uh, seeing invisible too much. Oh, you've been working on cruel cosplay websites. You get the cruel cosplay academy for noobs trying to go by the end of the tournament. Right. No, I think I saw some of that stuff in the Discord. Well, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, because the good thing about, like, the cosplay challenge is, like, even if you can't get full points, you can still get some points. Because uh, you don't really have to win to, like, get the get some of the challenges. And it still gives you something to go for. Alright, second rune. There's a lot of just, whatever, resistance or whatever. does not not something I can wear. So I want to go to... I've probably got willpower. I can go to the Elven Halls, right? I've got three willpower. Yeah, I think I can go to the Elven Halls. And in order for the Elves to banish me, they have to, like, uh, get through my creatures anyway. Well, sometimes they can just snipe around them in, like, the one or two turns that they've got a clear path to me. Hey, you don't happen to know anything about how, like, Rhyme Light works in terms of getting your own creatures? Because this is kind of wondering if I, like, could have get it without getting my own guys, because that would be kind of fun. Um, how are my skills going anyway? And Shield's almost there. Dodging's got a bit more to go. Fighting's going alright. Maybe I could... I don't know. It feels like such a waste if I, like, got it and then I couldn't do it. Let me just go and read his description. Um... Let's see. Afflicts a creature with a magical plague that slowly freezes them from the inside out. Victims take AC ignoring cold damage each turn. As the disease progresses, shards of crystalline ice may erupt violently from their body, damaging nearby enemies and even spreading their affliction to others. That wording is not entirely clear. If it only damages nearby enemies, that would be excellent. But it says to others with spreading the affliction, hmm. In living, holy, or demonic creatures, the disease is especially virulent, feeding off the necromantic energies released by its host's suffering. As they approach a the point of death, it will escalate rapidly, devouring the last vestiges of their body and leaving nothing behind but a twisted pillar of Stygian ice. Right, so it doesn't work very well like undead or something, or constructs, that's fine. 
Well, the challenge part is that uh, the website already syncs with GitHub every six hours. Wait, so can you already see, like, the changes you've made every, like, six hours or something? Presumably you could, like, uh, local host the website, though, and just... Because then you'll still be at least pull it up in your browser, even if no one else could get to it. Presuming you don't have, like, a static IP address, because that's... Well, I would imagine so. Uh... Right, level 22, that's good. There's more health, that's all this character really needs at the moment is more health, more skills, so... Uh... I gotta pick up the right blight even if I don't get it cast more, just test it out. 100% failure, ice necromancy level 7, I mean it's a decent level. Probably requires at least 15 skill, maybe, if not more, to get it, like, fully usable, but hey, I can definitely give it a try. Actually, does this character ever get wizardry on it? Because I think I found a wizardry, but I don't think I actually put it on, did I? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Are you feel comfortable with HTPM, but you're total noob with PHP? Wait, what's HTP? No, HTMP. I don't know if I've used that. I've used like PHP ages ago. I don't know. It seemed okay, but it doesn't seem anything too special. Uh, oh, HTML. Okay, yep. Uh, that makes more sense. No, it's been like so long since I've done any kind of web stuff that I don't really remember exactly how they work, but I'm sure if I give it enough time, I could pick them back up or something. Anyway, I need to go down, of course. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't attack that guy. That's a silly idea when I've got Acrobat on. I feel like this Acrobat, though, is doing a lot for me because I'm not really running out of the magic points. Oh, cantrips? That's not going to have anything that special. It has necrotizing sting, yeah. I mean, Cadrums is always low-level stuff. I think the Amputation is probably one of the better things in there. In fact, I could go grab myself an Amputation. It's already 1% failure. Um, Sublimation of Blood? I don't have that many hit points, but I guess I'll get rid of it. Also, Cuba's Armor. Does that even work with the whole Acrobat thing? Maybe. I guess I've got the turn to put it on. The passage is not quite there, is it? I might like grab it anyway. <laughs> Seems a little silly, but uh, do I have a Yaris? I might not be able to cast it. Oh, 37% failure. I might grab it. I mean, again, it's something that's not quite perfect. Um, Yeah, that'll do. But it might be worth it, like a last ditch effort to get rid of something. I don't need the evasion. Don't need the flight. That's a weird flight one. I might drop as well. Alright, got more books, come on, be some summoning, modify for monstrous menagerie. I mean, it is summoning, but I... Mm. I don't know, I'm kind of fuzzy on my summoning, but I might, I might get a monstrous menagerie. It could be one of my backup spells, just like the summon Hydras. For when I'm trying to get some creatures around me quick to go defend me. And my drying school's on recharge or whatever it's doing, because sometimes it's recharging. So I've been fairly good at not running around whilst recharging with this character. I've definitely been trying, at least. Because I know sometimes uh, it's really easy to run around with recharging. I will do the Hall of Blades. I'm just trying to clear this out so that like, I can... Uh... Easily go into the Serret. Okay, this is doing something. Got an army of dragons. Is an army of... Oh, did some of these guys dispel my dudes or something? I don't know. I feel like there's a... few less of my dudes here. Um... Someone's got to be able to kill this thing, right? Come on, dragon. You know you can. And now I can probably head back to a staircase and then just uh, recharge everything, get my magic points back. Oh, just taking one and one, so, uh, the likes? Fragile Gala? Wait, that's, uh, that's Sally Ruse, right? 
Gee House, Mr. Squiggles, Pie Demon, Repo Man, Tech Cut, and we. There's me on that list. I feel like lots of people got one on one this time round. But I guess it was nothing. Hmm. I don't know if I. Uh... It depends, kind of, like, if you're trying to get four points, I feel like going summoner was the right way, although some people managed to get the collateral damage just with, like, your Delno kills, right? You didn't technically have to go summoner, it just made it way easier. Heavy Execution Axe, Spectral Triple Sword. Those are actually kind of nice brands, but uh, not what this character's after. <laughs> not gonna suddenly turn into a Manifold Assault, Heavy Execution Axe character or anything. I don't think that would make any sense. Do I have, a, like, a demon something? A demon blade, I think, is what I was after. No, I still just got the whip and the trident. That's a shame. Because if I get a demon blade, I can get into a trove, I'm pretty sure. I probably got enough enchant weapons, because I just got some more enchant weapons there as well. Uh, can't spell those curses, right? Because I still need two more charm weapons before I start... Oh, charm armor, I mean. Before I start charm, uh, cursing my shield. Uh, wait, did I even add the bot to my chat this morning? Apparently it's still there, because it's getting the commands just fine. Oh, last week there was seven, one and one. This week there's... Oh, this week there's eight. Okay, so it's not a huge difference. I guess it's not too much longer for people to get one and one, because most people have probably, like, tried at least once by now, I'd imagine. I mean, there might still be some late covers or whatever to the challenge and give their first attempt today. Because, I mean, it totally is time that you could do your first attempt now and get, uh, get a win and stuff. Because you've got, what, today? You've got, oh, I can, yeah, I guess I can remove that uh, pretension. You've got tomorrow, and then you've got... Like half a day? <laughs> At least for that, that works for me. It probably works a bit different in other time zones. Oh, no bot, you had to copy paste? Okay, let me just add that bot actually. That should definitely be there. Yeah, I thought it was very, like, because I didn't remember adding the bot. I was like, wait, how does that work? How did you manage it without the bot? And I kind of wish the bot would, like, auto join, but that's fine. It's not a really helpful bot, though. I think it was the most helpful. It was like, uh,. Whose bot was it again? Was it like Gamma Funks or something? I don't know if it was. I think it might have been. Actually, I might just get my dragons back. Ruger's the best bot on theory. I should have a bot now. Let me just go check. It's telling me they want a demonologist. <laughs> of course. That was my challenge run as well, actually. That was the last win I've managed to get. Oh, what am I doing? I want to go back down. And that one was basically a uh, summoner as well, so I'm kind of uh, sticking to the summoners recently. I mean, they didn't start with one, they started as an artificer, but I turned them into a summoner. What do you mean I can't get in here? What's stopping me? It must have been one of the, like, uh, creatures that used to be here and thought it was blocking the passageway or something. That was kind of strange. That looked like a perfectly reasonable spot just to run on down. Alright. I think it's Gamma Funks, I, uh... I wonder how easy it is to make something like automatically join someone's Twitch chat when they start streaming. It's probably not that easy. Um, and you wouldn't always want it as well. Like, you'd probably only want it when their category was set to the right thing or something. But I don't know, you could always make like an extension, maybe, that automatically made it join or something. Oh, there's someone playing the challenge right now? There's, uh, Snackwell. Wait, Snackwell? Did they play on this server? CBR to O... Oh, they playing on Brutato. No, Brutato or something, whatever it is. I... I'm sure I've seen that name around. I've probably just seen them in the Discord or something, honestly. If they don't play on the same server as me. 
Uh, nothing good here. Intelligence break. I got like an extra intelligence break that I haven't put on right now. So I could probably swap out. I mean, I could do the three strands intelligent one. I could blow that one up. I put in a proper intelligence one. But I don't really need strands so much anymore. You know, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, shields on 27, so I don't have any penalty on my shields. Yeah, let's do it. Um, anything else I want to blow up while I'm at the while I'm at it? Probably not. I'm still with the magic points one. I'll keep that though, I guess. And I see if it was useless, but Ashton's already, so I'll just put on that. I pretension intelligence. I'll do an intelligence. I don't know, pretension's not a bad idea. I don't have that much armor classes. Refrigeration, infestation, haunt. Haunt is an okay spell. What else we got? Firestorm, freezing cloud, sticky flame. How hard would it be for me to get haunt? Um, 3% fail? I mean, that's that answers that question, I guess. Got static discharge, polar vortex. Manual of Axes, Cactus Giant, Shore, Momentum Strike, Fireball, I mean, nothing that good there. I mean, there's uh, Nightbot and Stream Elements and stuff. Yeah, they all automatically join, don't they? Right, so I guess it can't be too hard to make it happen. You just have to figure out how the other bots did it. Um... Back to theory, I think I've got like stream elements bot in my chat. Uh, so you can do its commands or whatever. Why don't even are its commands? I haven't really looked at those. You can do like follow age. I am apparently not following myself. Well, that's very rude of me. All right, where do I want to go? I want to go to depths, I think. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm, I'm subscribed to myself though, but I'm not following. Uh, I can, I can chart on my shield. Alright, that's fine. Uh, there's a lot of guys coming along here. Might just have to go upstairs soon. Yeah, I think so. I'm kind of, uh, I'm gonna have to try and pull them upstairs, I think. Just one dude here? Two dudes, that's fine. I think it pulls them into a reasonable spot, I think. Hopefully there's uh, room for my dragons to appear, though. Actually, there will be, because the dragons don't have to appear next to me. They can appear next to creatures. So as long as they don't fill out the entire screen, I should be fine. I'm getting... Getting hit by, like, a little bit of flay, which is not ideal, I don't think. Uh... I didn't even pull anyone off. I just got flayed. There we go. Got the flaying, dude. That should make my life a bit easier. Not like getting flayed every time I go down here. Oh. Um... Hmm. That's probably fine, but I did get this bus off. Any of these guys have, like, a demon, uh, blade on them? Or is it just more demon tridents? Might just be more demon trines, I'm not sure. Alright. Lost my dragon school. I know there's some tough, tough stuff coming along. Okay, I might, uh... I hold this guy back with a mirror. Do I just drink a magic potion, or... No, if these guys got it, they might have it. No, I think these guys have got it. Uh... Yeah, I can also throw in, what have we got? Mind Burst? It's a spring in though. It should have willpower. It does. I mean, Roots is going to do something, but what else can I do to this guy? I mean, I can get on a little dude. Um, it puts some more Roots on it, so that will make my little dude more effective. What now? Um, <laughs> I mean, these guys are going to do huge amounts of damage or anything, so you can root them up. I don't know if hitting these guys makes sense, but it does something at least. And it does constrict people up, so now I can finally go up the staircase. Was there a dispersal trap here? There, yeah, there is. There's this one. I knew there was something that flung me up the staircase. 
That would be easier if I just used a magic potion, but I didn't think I needed to, and I was completely right. I didn't need to use a magic potion. I would have been just fine. Oh, I should go check on the demon blades, but I don't... Oh, there's a whip tried and tried and... Oh, come on. Some of my dudes don't retreat. I think there was fog there for a little while, which made all my guys retreat, which was a bit of a shame. Just a lightning rod, it doesn't miss. Oh, that's true, actually. I do have a lightning rod, don't I? I maybe should have used that. I haven't been using my lightning rod much. No, that's good for situations where I'm out of magic points or something. I mean, usually I won't be able to use it as well because, like, I'll have summoners. Oh, hey, St. Maruka. I'll summons, I mean, in the way. Feels wrong not having to bind every unique I come across. Because uh, I'm so used to, like, binding every single unique from, like, my last uh, run that I did. So I got Servitor. Not quite. Elements of introspection. Do I even have a... I have an intelligence rig. Yeah, let's do it. Let's cast it up. Um, yeah, dodging is doing all right. About to 30 something evasion, or when I'm waiting around 52. I think it's 37 before. Yeah, that would check out. Oh, ring chops. Anything good? So we've got a regen amulet. We've got a wizardry ring. I don't really need wizardry. My spells are quite good. My will like rhyme blade or something. Got Marta's Nail, Dismal Dead, uh, Dreadful Rot. Marta's Nail's alright. More Marta's Nail. Um, Force and Fuse a lot. I don't think that works with like um, uh, creatures around, does it? Ooh, oh, oh. It's a ring of the Tortoise. I've got to get that. Okay, there's AC resist negative, maybe. There's re resist fire. Okay, definitely getting the Tortoise. Um, what can I blow up, though, is the real question. So let's go blow up. Uh, got the evasion I could blow up. I need that resistance one. Do I need the willpower? Probably. I got the magic points one. That was a lot of decks. I think I'll keep it. That's my poison resist. Yeah, I think I just blow up this one. And then go replace it with an AC one. There we go. 15 AC. Not bad. Not bad for an octopode. Not bad at all. Oh, we're looking at the name of people that have played the most of the tournament so far. So it's been Toby Connect Challenge, Rem, and CF, 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 CF. Yeah, I think I saw, like, uh, CF play quite a lot of games there. Oh, Riff Raft's got quite a few. Who won the first, uh, like, Grinder Challenge? Was that? I feel like Riff Raft did pretty well, but I can't remember if they won or not. Uh, actually, there's no destruction. I'm just going to go up. I'll probably just head straight back down, but like, at least dodge the orb of destruction. I might just find another staircase, actually. This one's looking a little unpleasant. It really does want to surround me. This one looks good. I love to lightning rod every, uh, every annoying spring in. Oh, that's true. It doesn't, we'll hit the spring in. So, I mean, that's something. Oh, Riff Ruff won the first Grinder Award. They're not going to quite get this one. They're going to, like, double their number of games. Actually, like, triple their number of games to win this one. Which might happen. They've still got a few days. Or maybe they're going to win. They might have got to win. I wonder... You could probably just look at, like, uh... Uh... I'm going to see what they won last. No, that's what they played last, the Coglin Artificer. They probably don't have a win then if they're going for another Coglin Artificer. But I'll, I'll check what they last managed to win. Last one, a uh, Helog Barricade? What was that? Right, they were Helog Fighter of Okawaru. Yeah, so they haven't managed to get a win in the challenge, but maybe they're just happy with how many points they have or something. Who is that red dude? Oh, Shrike? Okay. Should live long once the dragons get around it, but it was just kind of hard getting the dragons around it. Yeah, like an army of four golden dragons is a fairly substantial army.
Uh, fire balls actually do quite a bit for me because I do I do have fire balls actually. I got two fire balls. It's not too bad. Just I can't like dodge it or something like I do with most of the enemy attacks. I think uh, evasion is still one of my, and shields are still one of my main defenses, despite having this whole tortoise ring on. But it did help even them out a little bit, so it was well, truly worth the money I spent on it. Um. Okay, dodging's about to max out, so I'm actually gonna try. I'm gonna try the right blight, see if it works. So I need. I mean, it's ice necromancy, right? Necromancy is useful anyway, because I got the whole haunt if I need to. Where's the necromancy? It looks like you got lots of things to hard like that, because it's already starts at point four, which means as I actually get a few points and it should uh get even more bonus from Um what's your name? Ash and Zari there. I'm glad that like Ash and Zari survived the like curses rework, because they are an interesting god. Like, even if they don't really give any uh like passive god abilities, it's still nice having some gods that are just like all on the all on the passive side of things instead of active side of things. Um I, mean, I guess technically the curses are like active. Uh is that worth like melee and cutting? No, it's not worth it, I don't think. Oh, we came up with a few other metrics for the grinder reward. Oh, right, like the hours played and stuff, right? What is that one? That's... Well, it's unique skilled, so... CF, CF, CF is doing well with the uniques. And Cyrus as well. Oh, Colgate? Oh, yeah, and Riff Raff. I mean, it's mainly the same people, but it changes the order a bit. I guess that one favors people that are, like, a bit better at the game. Um... Like, they're good enough that they're actually managing to... Oh, wait, that's just uniques in general, right? It's not, like, uh, soulbound ones specifically, is it? Because squaring for the soulbound ones specifically, I guess, is not the easiest. But still, like, that does uh, definitely more of a metric of, like, how long the game's lasted as well. There was a way down. I've got two more levels of depths here. Guy's trying to find his way to me, but it's not doing so well, because I saw it. As soon as I, like, cast the dragons for me, I saw it wake up. What were these? Hellgates or something? Abyss and Hell, yeah. This is making sure they're not, like, timed portals, but it should have announced it if they were timed portals. Um... Alright, who's hiding behind there? Soldier bow should be fine. I got a decent size army of dragons out. Yeah, I mean, once you get surrounded by dragons, she doesn't stand a chance. And she's got a storm tallies, but I think she's already got a chance of dropping that one, and I don't actually need it. Usually I'd be glad to have a storm tallies, but on an octopode, but this character is all about uh, using big shields and casting spells. Oh, unique as a proxy for playtime, but more fun? Yeah, true, because, uh... I mean, I guess in theory, you could just have games that didn't live long enough to see uniques. And just have thousands of those and get good playtime. Oh, hey, uh, what's her name? That's like Marjorie or something, right? Because there's a Hell Knight in there. Ooh, is that Demon Blade? Hey, that could be useful. Got some fire resist, but I still don't like the look of this, dude. Because those with the Serum Branch is always kind of nasty. Um, right. But was it, of course, once I get my guys around, it's not that bad. It's just doing what it makes to me, like, personally, stripping my fire resist and doing all this other thing. So I can grab the sword. Um, I need some enchant on that. I need to get it plus six, but that shouldn't be too bad. Oh, right. Of course, I've walked into some unexplored area. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I've got how many enchant weapons here? I've got two of them. Oh, uh, yeah. I've probably got some more, so i got elf too. That's got tons. That's a hall of blades. Yeah, no wonder it's got so many of them. 
Uh, plus three. Where's the last one? Down here, isn't it? Plus six. Um, oh, whoops, what am I trying to search for? I'm trying to search for a treasure trove. What do I leave outside? I mean, probably just my scrolls and stuff. Alright, what have we got? There's gotta be some jewelry in here, right? There's potions of experience. I'm almost up a level as soon as I level up or read it. Okay, we've got ice, we've got resist electric, resist poison. What's my resist electric one? It was like resist poison as well, right? No, that was a different one. My resist poison is the AC, not AC, the cold resist, but minus fire resist for lots of decks. Quite like that decks one. Oh, will region, wizardry. Hey, there we go, charm armor. I can go max out my shield, which means I can go curse out as soon as I get something good, but ranged and Whatever that is, isn't that good? Why are these not picking up? Shield of resistance? I think my resistance are good enough. I don't actually need a shield of resistance. That feels wrong just leaving that one, but I don't need it. All right, well, let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure there's... Oh, wait. Let's not get out of here. Why don't those auto pick up? Apparently my potions are off, but auto pick up for whatever reason. I don't know why. Oh, the burger, is that your max something? Max level character was being level 12 so far. So it looks like they, it sounds like they're kind of dying a bit in the early game, unfortunately. Well, that's late enough that you might have made it to lair. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Yeah, I don't need the shield of resistance, right? I mean, it gave me some resists, um, but it would be less predictive. That one was for strength, cold resistance, resist electric, I see. Options there, but I don't think they're that good. I'll just grab my scrolls. How many do I need? Two more room, okay. I think I picked out some potions I don't need, like a mine or something. I don't want to drink that. I want to drink the experience, but I might just level up first. Um, kind of awkward. Probably need the amnesia because I don't really. Oh, uh, hold on. I can, I can actually pick up the amnesia because I don't need the shard armor, right? Uh, there we go, that does the trick. So let's go to, what was that one? It was like depths, apparently three. Are you looking at, what's, wait, what's KW? I'm not familiar with that command. Oh, that keyword tells you... Right, so it does, uh, it says God is either no God or you're a dull null. The version is 0 0.32, makes sense. It gets the dates from the start of the tournament to the end of the week. That makes sense. Right, so theoretically, everyone, not everyone doing that would actually be entering the tournament. But they definitely could enter their run to the tournament. Fortune devices. Um, That's alright again. My shield's slightly down, so yeah, fortune's good. I'll put this on my shields. Hopefully that gets me the skill. Oh, it's 26 now. Alright, I've got another ring to uh, go up and it'll probably max out my shields again when I do that. I do want to try a ride blind. It's 38% fail. I'm going to give it a try on this dude anyway. I think I failed. That's actually real damage, despite that guy being a flayed ghost. Um... Hmm. Seems faster, man. We'll just do these little guys. There we go. <laughs> I had enough magic points to take it out. Alright, how's the ride blight now? 32% failure. I'm still gonna give it another try because I'm just kind of curious how curious what it does exactly. What? There we go. So it's got something on it. It's got a little skull, so it's lightly drained and inflicted by ride blight. Um, it might not have affected my dudes when it died, so I think I might be all good with the ride blight. Yeah, I mean, there's no one around for it to spread to, so I'm not doing the best test of the actual abilities of the Rhyme Blight here. Well, 
Right. I mean, someday apparently, uh, presumably, get some dudes they can test it on. Whoa. Oh, turn into a little shot of ice or something would die. That's what that little thing was. I was wondering what that was. Could theoretically be a good thing blocking off a corridor. I'm not sure how uh, good it is. Can I? It's not my targeted, so it's not the most uh, good at targeting things. Oh, last week there were 86 players, but only 54 submitters on the website. But some of them probably just didn't get like a good enough score to feel like submitting it. But other people probably just saw like that the, there was a high number of wins or something with this combo. It was like, oh, there must be something special about it. Let's give it a try. Because I know people do that. Like someone will have a favorite combo. They'll play a lot and get lots of wins on. And then a lot of other people like query with the bots what people usually play as. And then um, end up just playing like someone's favorite combo. It's kind of funny. Um... What are these, anyway? I don't tell. That was the Wiz Lab. Okay. Not massively far from it, so it shouldn't be too hard to get to. Yeah, steady, crackling, so I got tons of time as well. Don't think I'm ever going to magic regen. I've got potion of magic. Um, so we're just like acrobat, but it's actually really good. Because how many turns I just spent waiting around? Okay. Uh, well, I can drink the... Finally drink the XP potion. Alright. Yeah, Rhyme Bite's on 30%. Cool, cool. It's actually good finally getting to try the Rhyme Bite, because I haven't actually got to use that one before. Anyway. Cutting Fortitude. Um... That's something, right? Dodging Shield Stealth. Yeah? Sure. Definitely max out the shields, right? Dodging is a bit better. Sure. Might have got a little bit overbought the shields, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go in. Oh, it's a Hellbinder? No, it's not. It's a little tomb one. Uh... Oh, look at someone that's been the mid time in a single game, is that? Wait, seven minutes? That's not like the mid time for a victory or something. Oh, it's Tannis Fugit. Hey, I know him. <laughs> Level one Coglin artifice began the quest for the orb. Wait, on turn zero, what happened? Am I misunderstanding what's going on here? Wait, but it's like seven minutes, but like turn to zero. Did, did he not get anywhere? Anyway, I should wait for this to pop. Uh, oh, that's the first milestone for like, all oh, right. So there's probably tons of people. Um, yeah, so it'd be the milestone for starting the search for the orb, I guess. Ow. No, I'm leaving. That's a shame. I, I don't find that too very good because there's too many guys with torments. I feel like uh, this way too early in the game to have like any sort of resistance to the torment, right? So, I don't know. Oh, did they? Can you resist the right blight? I'm not sure because it doesn't need to work on that dude. Uh... I don't imagine to get like spreading right blights because I I'm only kind of using it on, like single guys. I don't know if I can target my own dude and just let it spread from there. Probably not. Oh, they definitely seem to have a chance of resisting, right? Maybe. We're just stuffing something up. I got that guy. I think I spread the blight a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Spreading some more blight. Right, that's what it's meant to do. Just like spread to neighboring guys as you bash things up, which is really nice. Um. Oh, it might be, might be checking willpower. 
No, I hit that spring, which means it probably isn't. But my miscast's not much, it's like 7%. I don't think I've just been miscasting. Maybe I have. I had to check the messages out next time I try and do it on someone, although I can't do it on that guy because it's in the wrong spot. Uh, well, fate of that guy. A fate of that guy, okay. Huh. Does they only take damage while they're in view, or do they just take it, like, all the time? Because running away from that guy seems to be pretty effective and then just, like, killing it. Yeah, in fact, that guy might have actually just been miscasting or something. Who knows? Ow, oh, don't, um... Oh, come on, it's... Really? Oh, I guess there's a wall there, actually. Never mind. I didn't realize there was a wall, which is I was trying to shoot through it, but there was a uh, fainting by targeting. Makes sense. Good, I think the ride blight's beginning to spread. That's actually doing pretty well. Does it take magic points every time it does like it's blowing up, or does it just do that for free? It might just do it for free. Anyway, I need to do uh, another branch here, so I think uh, slime bits will be the obvious one to go with. I got the reverse. I got dragon school. Yeah, it seems definitely the obvious one to go with. And of course, I might be able to get some rhyme blight spreading, although it's not quite spreading in there. Things are just dying way too quick for that to work. No, Dragon School is always excellent here. Alright, what have we got? We've got another one of these freezing dudes. I wonder if I can rhyme blight a freezing dude. I doubt it, right? Doesn't sound like it should work. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I'm behind my dragons. All right, so I've got the way down again. Um... Definitely made sure I'm behind my dragons. I think my mutations are fine. Plus 4 armor class and minus 10% magic points. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's probably still a positive trade-off. Don't want the royal jelly just yet, but I will want it to come along soon. Uh, there it is. I should probably just, oh wait, why don't I minus regen? Someone gave me minus regen with monster nearby. I'll just kill that dude and then I'll go upstairs. Alright, that's a shame. And I don't have a lot of regen, so it's not the end of the world or anything. Um, that's the royal jelly again, I think. Yep. It's just gonna die on its own, isn't it? Yeah, it did. Because I had the ride blight. It spread the ride blight to all these dudes, which is kind of nice. Um... Wow, okay. Well, that made really short sure work of the Royal Jelly. Both the ride blight and the dragon's call were like excellent things to be taken out. Anyway, I should be able to grab some of this treasure in here, hopefully. Are we looking at, uh... Have you ever managed to get Eurodel Null in the tournament? That would be interesting. Like, how many people, like, die before getting Eurodel Null? Whoa. Not jellyfish. Alright, 26. So my level's good. I got the whole potion and everything. Um... I don't... Care about a chart double, right? Like, what would I even a chart? I got a hat already. Yeah, unless I found another better hat or something, like I had a willpower. I don't think there's anything to a chart. I got more digging. Oh, there's even more chart double. I don't think I got my rune. Uh, not my rune, my gem. I got my rune, though, of course. Resist electric rapier. All right. I don't think you can wear the boots. Resist electric as well. How many souls of resist electric that I can't wear is this game going to give me? And what's I can wear as well. Like, I'm not at all shot on the, um... Or is this electric? 
All right, keep on going. Just get out of here, I guess. No point in stopping for anything. Do I reset these? No, I think those are right. They're fairly neutral right now. So I can just hand it to Zod, I think, at the moment. Did the bot ever get back and said that 56 people have managed to get... Your delve? No, hold on. Wait, why is it saying there's 300 something games? I guess that makes sense, because that's not just wins, that's like all the games. Wait, what was it telling me about? It was just telling me about the runes, right? So it's kind of a, what, uh, what, over one in six people, maybe more like one in five or something, managed to get the, get your delve now before they died? Or one? Uh... I don't think the blind works so well, the undead, but I'll, hey, I'll put it on the toe anyway. Not the toe, the um, guy anyway. Uh, ice is fine. Oh, what I really need, like, really urgently is invocations. It's plus one aptitude. Because I need an Invocations title, that could be a little bit difficult to get, I might have to do Vols 5 as well, which this character will be okay at. Just not perfect, trying to do it with something, but it works. If you have to, it's just, uh, waiting off the Minus Dragon Call could be a bit rough. I do have the Horns though, which I can, um, I haven't actually really used, but I can use, so... Make up for times so I got the Minus Dragon Call. Alright, where's my way down? There we go. I didn't understand the alarm trap, that's nice. I can probably just magic map, it doesn't do that much. Because I've already got the place basically magic mapped with Ash and Zari here. Oh, there's distinct names? Right. Then I've managed to get your double level. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty good. Huh. Right. No, I guess that makes sense, actually, given the query. I'm doing so well. These guys are annoying. I might just bring them up. Hopefully, I'll get some dragons in pretty soon. Uh... Oh, to go take the staircase. It doesn't look like it's too bad. There's always that, like, uh, transport you can take to get out of there if you volume as well. What even? Oh, I do, that's right. I don't wear cloaks. I was going to say what even is my cloak, but no. I, um, I'm an octopode. I'm, I have rings and more rings and even more rings and they're all cursed. I think I've actually cursed everything so I've maxed out of my party. But at some stage, before I win, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go break a bunch of my items because I don't want to win with Max party because I'm pretty sure I've already had that title. Wait, where's my dragons? They're still forming, I think. Ah, uh, going upstairs. Otherwise, they're gonna get, like, slowed and stuff. That's not the best. Oh, do those guys... They don't keep the right blight, do they? Surely not. I should know, because I, like, uh, reworked the code for, like, uh, bringing out the spawns on the, um... On the protein serve... Uh, protein progenitor, guys. Or oh, maybe use quite a spells while you get established with Vols 5? Yeah, maybe. Like, haunt or something. Maybe. I don't know. Dragon School's fine. It's just, yeah, it's not perfect with the whole minus Dragon School. If I pop a Brilliant so beforehand, it will help with other spells. Uh, so I might do a Brilliant and then just haunt things or something. Could be a good idea. All right, let's casually stroll on downstairs. Feels excessive using dragons to kill a single moth. I'm probably gonna kill it other ways, but hey. The dragons definitely do the trick. Wait, what's up with this? What's up with my potions? Why do you auto pick you up? Where are my potions? Um, have literally all of these been toggled or something? 
Oh, I know why. I've got the option to, when I auto pick up some, no, when I drop something, I um stop the auto pick up. I hadn't thought about that. But no, oh, that, that, man, that's actually awkward with troves. I gotta think about that. Whether I, hmm. Yeah, because there is an option to make it when you pick something up and it uh, doesn't auto pick it up anymore, which is generally what you want, because it's generally you drop things that you don't need. But it does cause problems with troves, I see. Is there like something else you could drop for troves? Not really. I mean, potions and scrolls are kind of the main thing that you're free to drop. Like things you aren't already got equipped and stuff. Can I just lignify here? I think I can. And the toe should just die. Um. To evade with the acrobat, that's not doing much. I mean, it does actually give me a decent amount of evasion because I still get to keep up all my rings and stuff. No, now you see, I mean, I was like 40 or something. Anyway, what's the way down? Oh, it's like with the star. Wait, so if I go to, if I go to this menu, I do a star? Oh, that does like all potions or something. That put them all to their normal level, I think. Not from that one. <laughs> Okay, no, that makes sense. Um, yeah, right, right, it's got it there, so I guess it's pretty easy enough to turn the back on if I need to. Uh, might need to go up soon. It's not looking perfect with all the things getting summoned in. My mic, no, might just regen, so that's fine. I believe that ice doesn't hit either me or my summons. It says it hits the enemies, so I think it's correct on that. It does just hit the enemies. Um, I was like, uh, D slash and, uh, yeah, oh, D slash and then the... Wait, do you even have to do enter? I'm pretty sure you don't even have to do enter. I think you just do the... Or maybe enter access to the menu or something. But I'm pretty sure you just have to do the, um... The slash that automatically toggles all the things. And I guess, uh, what is it, question mark to toggle the other ones? It's pretty much the same thing as... I mean, it won't end up perfect afterwards, because the ones I don't have on me would end up toggled weirdly, but I don't think I get enough troves for it to really matter too much. Is that going to be Tiamat? Who is that guy? person? There's someone in here hanging out with a bunch of other creatures, which sounds a lot like Tiamat, but it might not be. Could just be an over fire. Hey, it's just an orb of fire. Um, I say just, but an orb of fire is maybe worse than Tiamat. We'll see how this goes. Can I even... Oh, can I rhyme blind it? Huh. It's back with a berserk mutation. Right. Doesn't matter too much. I'm just gonna have to be careful with that. Um. Well, that's from the... Wait, from the drop menu with that one? Oh, so if I go to the... Wait, hold up. Wait, then you do the slash? Goes you to the... Wait. Oh, that would drop a... Uh... Wait, what does that drop? I don't know. Oh, that's not a very good spot. They're draining my magic points. What can I do to slow this dude down? Not a lot. Wait for this guy to die, I think, and then keep on retreating. Okay, so I can go... Not that way. Yeah, I can probably just go that way. Get back to the staircase. Oh, there's going to be the clouds in here, definitely, because they got the basic humans, and the basic humans never really start on their own. They've always got the... Wait. I don't think I'm quite at the clouds, but the clouds in here, I reckon. Yep, there's a cloud, and it's got a distortion weapon, which is fine. And it's blinking around, but it's not living very long. Uh, there should be more clouds in there, although I'm not detecting many of them, because I can tell those ones because they show up as red. Um, I should probably retreat. Oh, earlier when I was trying to retreat, there was a guy next to me. I could have haunted it, actually. That might have been an idea. 
Because at the very least, it might have slowed the guy or something. No one do like too much hold because it's um kind of expensive on the magic points, but an otherwise very good spell. And I think the dragon school is way more efficient. Wait, it's backslash? Hold on, if I go to the draw menu, what's the backslash? Wait. Does that do anything? So if it's backslash. That was switches menus, right? What exactly does that mean? Does that drop them without marking them for uh not picking up again or something? I'll have to try it next time. Let me just write that down and see it. I'll try it next time and see what happens. But I could actually try it as soon as I get out of the fight and see what happens. Um, it's probably worth trying it now. Right, so if I do this one, then I do the backslash, which doesn't immediately show anything. And then I do, uh, what's it, just like the exclamation mark for the scrolls, and then I drop them. Okay. Did that take them all off auto pickup? Let's go check. Uh... Yeah, it still takes them off auto pickup when doing it that way, doesn't it? Those are now off, all off auto pickup because of my RC options. Um, so let's just put those back on auto pickup, or at least good enough to auto pickup. Is there some way I can make that RC option only check? Uh, kick in when I drop like one item because that's ideal. It takes off auto pick up if I drop one item at once, but if I pick a group of items, it doesn't. Because at least that way I've got the maximum like one to fix up, but also probably wouldn't need to fix up because you I always drop lots before I go into a treasure trove. And it wouldn't it would always take things off auto pick up when I needed them, but it would do a pretty good job of that as well. Oh, it's a uh, drop and disable auto pickup for, but you don't know how it interacts with the setting to auto it. Right, so maybe I'll just have to... Huh. So if you do the backslash before, it's like it disables the auto pickup. I mean, maybe I could just get rid of the option and just do that instead. I'm also out of magic points because I do drain them all. I just haste up. I don't have a huge amount of haste, but... Large bow plates, well, that's nice. That's shield. And 10 I shrink, then they didn't do anything anyway, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's a lot of magic points back, and then the overfire shouldn't be too bad. Wherever it is. Don't be too far away. There. Actually, I'll just leave it. I think you're holding it, but the dragons are going to do a better job. There we go. Of killing it. Than they ever could. We're trying to haunt it or something. I'm gonna go with the invocations 15, and it's gotta get all the way to 27, I think. Or maybe not. Let me go check where that's actually gonna get. It's gotta get up to 24.4, does it? Well, actually, Zari's really buffing those skills. Yeah, it doesn't actually have to get that high. It won't make it just from the experience in here, though, I don't think. This side looks way better. <laughs> I'd rather not have one of those where a uh, dispossible to teleport trap. That at all the fire's a lich, okay. Hit haunted lich. I can see that there's quite a few guys in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, those are clouds, liches. What else would show up under this? Um, I don't know. Clouds, liches. Orbs of fire. Probably some of those orbs of fire. These were the liches. Oh, so many traps that are so open. Yeah, the, uh, it's actually not too bad with the traps. I mean, that side has traps. What's oh, the most secure pre-orb, Jamie? You'll never get into this one. 
I mean, yeah, I guess there are a lot of traps on that side, no, that's, uh, I mean, unless you're a Formicent, it's not doing a very good job of guarding from Formicents. But everyone else is gonna have a hard time getting in there. Alright. Oh, there's a normal fire. I might start this one with a bit of horn just because my guys are currently a little distracted working there on the other dude. Uh... Oh, this clown. Um... Draining my attributes, that's just mean, but I think I can still just run back out of here, get all my magic and everything back, and no worries. And it only drained like two or three points, actually. It drained like three and quite a few of them, which is maybe a bit more of a worry than just two or something. Um... I mean, the pre vault and in general, wait, what? I mean, this area in general has got a lot of traps? I don't know. I guess so. A lot of just muscle traps, at least. Yeah. Oh no, don't mark me. Can I can't cancel that? Pop a brilliance, I think I'm gonna need to. There's another dispersal uh not dispersal trap here, love trap, which is not ideal. Um I think I managed to avoid being slowed at least. Alright. How's this going? 18, I needed 24.4 or something, or whatever it was. Uh... This is okay. In fact, keeping these guys here isn't a bad idea. They're kind of going to a choke point. I might pull them back, though, a little bit, because I'm about to run dragons. I gotta do both sides. I reckon I should. Just uh, get some XP for the side. And also, oh, there's an orb of fire. Um, I think I've cleared out a decent amount of it. Could I Rhyme Blight in here? Oh, that's. Wait, that's not a Rhyme Blight. Hard to do a great job. I was trying to get some guys in front of this guy. What's happened to me? Minus two intelligence. Do you know regenerate what's in there by sometimes lose okay temper, that's alright. That's all stuff that I already knew about. Um Could just root some of these guys up, but I'm running low on dragons, which is a bit of a problem. Because I also don't have any magic points to bring other things out. But specifically talking about the bottom half of this area in general. But I guess most of the traps are in the bottom half. I made the dragons, but I'm not sure. Probably work. Alright, just check outside. Doesn't look like it's anything. There's a statue form if I wanted to go with that, but I don't think I will. So I'm done exploring here. Yeah, I do need a good uh, four and a bit more. So let's just do vaults five, I think. And let's try be reasonably silent this time around. <coughs> uh, where do I go down? I've got an escape hatch, right? So... I'll pop the brilliance and I'll just head down the escape hatch. Um. I was haunting these guys. Ah. Uh. Oh, two statues. Yeah, to totally uh, statue up as much as I like. Statue forms actually seem like somewhat common for some reason. Like a lot more common than some of the other forms at least. Alright, well, I kind of got, uh, got myself established. I think I'm actually going to dragon school these dudes. I could also totally, like, mutate myself if I don't like these, but those are okay-ish, I guess. 
There we go. So it's pulling in all the dudes, but I made a card on the map, so I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know about Ryan Blake, Nick, guy. Eh? Oh, it's fine. It's not the most, like, uh, optimal area. I've had some pretty good areas, though, with the Ryan Blake, where I just got a whole group of creatures. This is, speaking of whole groups of creatures, I can't even get one of this properly, can I? No, unfortunately, I can't really get it spreading. Those guys are standing in the wrong area. Right, there's a rune, there's a pair of boots, or whatever those are, they can't wear. I'll just head back this way, but it looks like everything's dying and I don't need to worry too much about it. I never really used my invisibility because I got them too late for doing the, um... What was it? The... Spider's Nest, so I never used them against uh, Ghost Moss. Yes, it's there, you can use them as not, but it's too late for that now. That's already been clad, because that also has Ghost Moss to drain your magic points. Uh, let's just get back, because there's a number of guys... Oh. Come me along. Um... They're gonna step back this way. Oh, it still followed me. They're gonna step back until that guy times out. Um, I do not want to be getting tormented right now, but it does mean there's a dread lich on this level somewhere. Should come along to greet me at some stage, but I'm... I might just go around, oh, there's a Dread Lich, that's probably a different one. Let's go around the other side of the level. Can I Yarn Sand? Is that, um... It would probably get rid of some of my summons, but I reckon it's worthwhile. Yeah, they only seem to, seem to have cared. It might have actually just died instead of getting Yarn Oh, whoops. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. Uh, again, I gotta go for this dude, because I'm getting tormented again. There's so many guys in here to torment me, but that's fine. At least they're all brought in by, like, weak summoners and not, like, actual, natural guys to torment. I don't think the Polter Guardians are too bad this time around. There's another Tormentor. Again, it just disappeared in one turn. Alright. How's my skill going? It's on 22. It's doing pretty well. I'm still well binded, which makes sense. Because I had like 24 skill or something. But at least it's based on my uh, base skill, not my buff skill. So, I don't have to go for too much. I don't think you can ever buff up your invocation with Ashen Zari. Because Ashen Zari doesn't even use invocations. So it just like automatically preserves it's useless. Um, which is actually true, like it is useless seeing it's not the titles aren't based on it. Uh, It's kind of funny how the, like, there's a lot of, I guess the invocations is not, like, completely useless for the character, because you can swap gods, well, technically. You wouldn't want to swap away Rash and Zari, you get murdered if you swap away Rash and Zari, but you technically can. Yeah, if you swap away from Rash and Zari, you lose all your curse items, which is basically all of them. Uh, well, actually all of them for this character. And then, you get your skills drained really badly. Oh, nine it fires the stacks. Nine it, yes please. I gotta have to blow something up. Alright. What can I blow up? So I can blow up magic points, I can blow up willpower, I can blow up basic intelligence. Strength and intelligence also not quite right. Might blow up the basic intelligence. Put on the better intelligence. Yeah. It drives you to take it off, but I'm not gonna take it off. 
I'm gonna try and curse it up, and well, I'd never take it off because I like I'd blow it up with a um with a blow up curse. Like anyway, if I was ever gonna take it off. All right, I don't need a pile driver. That would be silly. Or it does reposition you, but it'd probably still be silly. Uh. Hey, Charlie Wick, you don't mean to love you, but you sir seem to be cursed. I am very cursed. In a matter of speaking. I am cursed with good luck. Cursed with amazing skills. I think uh, Ash and Zari is right about castles being a blessing. What I got here, just a helmet. Uh, I guess I am cursed with not being able to wear gear, unfortunately. Alright, come on. Well, the only difference between a blessing and a curse is perspective. I certainly was with these Ash and Zari curses. Uh, what have we got here? Eight magic points, cold resist, fly. Like, I could swap out the nine magic points one, right? I could blow it up and put that one on, but I gotta try and get another one of my things cursed up before then. Um, not that I really need the cold resist. Not that I really need to do much more. I just need to get... Like, one more skill. Okay, well, tiny bit of corrupt, I think. Should do the trick. Oh, I summoned the dragons a bit early. I should have taken the dude before I popped the door. What am I doing today? It's got four slots, iron shot, it's a gargoyle, veteran gargoyle, earth elemental, and Legado. That's Esso, Essoc, Heps, Goes. They don't look too bad. Probably get rid of this dude first, though. There we go, and I can check out whatever they've got, so they've got a- Oh, plus zero hat. I- that's one of the few pieces of armor I can wear, it's only plus zero, unfortunately, this time round. Alright. Lots of staircases down today. I don't think I'll need to go down, though. I think I can do everything I need to here. Also, I probably should actually cut up that uh, ring. Hold on, let me go check on titles. Ash and Zari ones, which should be up the top. Any of these race-specific? No. So I can just go through and see which ones I haven't had. Um... But we're just looking at anyone I've had while worshiping Ash and Zari, so I've had... Have I have Omnificent? Yes, I have. I've had uh, Prince of Secrets. Yes. What about Illuminatus? Yes, okay. What about Oracle? I don't know which one of these is... Uh, yeah, I've had that one. It doesn't matter which one's the um, active one. Is Sia? I might not have had Sia. Uh-huh. Right. So that's probably my title, so I gotta get down to, like, three pips of piety by the looks of things. Which... Yeah, okay. That's fine. I just a matter of, like, breaking things while I'm on the last level of... Well, waiting to get out, I think. On the first level of dungeon, not the last level of dungeon. Uh, no, I'll leave my... But garlic and introspection probably would have been fine as, like, a thing to get if I was actually trying to curse these up. Okay. It's a little bit of a shame that Ash and Zari doesn't have any race-specific titles because it means I kind of limited the number of times I can play Ash and Zari and still get uh, unique titles. I mean, I can still go for some of the skill titles, but it's not the best. Wait, did I not get the title? Oh, so close. Okay. Well, I gotta go down, I guess. Invocation's 24. It was 24.4, I think I had to have, so only 0.4 more skill. Oh, hey, uh, what's her name? 
What is her name? Somebody around the ice lunch? Where is she? Josephine of the ice lunch. That's the one. Yeah, she's not usually bad, but a draining can be bad for characters that have no resist negative, which is... Honestly, most of my characters list characters kind of liked it having one resist negative. Because it's really not that important to resist, so most characters just kind of ignore it. Hey, there we go. Prince of Secrets. I think I should probably just go get a victory here. Alright, so go to Zot 5, where my orb is sitting. My orb, alright, go to dungeon level 1. This guy doesn't need a dragon's cool. <laughs> it could just be haunted. Same with this guy, although this one can actually bring in tough stuff. Maybe I should do a dragon's cool. Those guys get better as you go up, because their shadow creatures is based on the level of the dungeon you're on, and it doesn't have any special powers for the old brother or anything, so if you want to say, like, dungeon level 3, it's just bring in dungeon level 3 creatures or whatever. Oh, hey, Pandemonium Lord. It's got, like, all three seconds. It's got, oh, Glaciate. That's reasonably fast as well. I think I got to blink to one of these staircases. Come on. There we go. It's doing enough to move up a little bit so I can blink to the staircase and then go up. I think that works. In fact, if I go to this one, that should definitely work. There we go. That got me out of there. Um, whatever. I'll just haunt this guy. Right, dungeon level 13, I'm making progress. What does this brain do in orange brain? Those ones, do they bring out creatures? I feel like they might be the ones that bring out creatures. Or are they the ones that get brilliant to all the guys around them? It doesn't really matter. Oh, another pandemonium lord and it's got... It's actually kind of slow, 130% speed. I mean, I could be faster than that, right? Do we have tons of digging, so... No one can stop me getting to the staircase now. Well, I guess technically a pound of money could, Lord could appear right on the staircase as I'm ascending upwards. That's a pound of money, Lord. Alright, how fast? 140% speed is barely. It's not even that fast. Okay. Uh, got a long way to walk, but it's fine. As soon as I get this guy out of view, I can just... Come on, guys. I can just tell the auto travel to do its thing. I guess I have fog now. I don't have fog for ages. Like, uh, early on when I was trying to get my drag, uh, some of his dragons or whatever it was from a uh, trap that had lots of ice. In fact, I might be going right past that. I was probably a little bit later on. Um, I had to use, like, some, I think, poison scrolls to stop it spotting in ice. Oh, really? To this middle? I gotta get past it. Oh, Pandemonium Lord. Maybe not. Firestorm. It's not fast. This is awkward, but I'm actually going to try another staircase. Dragons are making a bit of sound though, but I should be able to get to the exit out of here. Or not. Um, If I become a tree and then I cancel up later on, this probably... Wait, does that make sense? Where's my resist negative coming from? Probably a ring, right? Right? I don't even see it, but it's got to be... Oh, yeah. It's, oh, no, it's my amulet. That's fine. So if I link the fire up, I keep it. Uh, so I've got to go shatter some curses. There was something I didn't really need. What was it? I can't even remember. Oh, the magic points one I can go shatter. I might even put on the replacement one. Um, I gotta go shatter something else though, but this one's not gonna have a replacement, so I can go shatter the willpower. Come on, get rid of some of this piety, please. I go shatter the hat, I guess. No, I like this hat, it's stylish. I might just shatter some more rings. Keep the AZ one, that one's pretty good. I don't really want to lose too much deck, so I lose defenses, but I guess it's fine. Now I'll shatter this ring as well. The Illuminatus or something, I'll shatter 
Hey, Shadow Let's Play, give me lots of resists. Oh, hey, Pandemonium Lodge. Don't mind me. I think it's pretty quick to shout him. Oh. Fuck didn't work. Um. Man, this is bad timing. Okay. Fog's not spreading properly, so I think I'm gonna have to blink back and try and heal up. Man, I'd hate to die like on the exit, but that that would be really bad. Um, I'm gonna heal up a little bit. Heal up a little bit more, because I got plenty of healing potions at least. How's my fire just going? It's still there because I didn't get rid of that one at least. Um Is that the guy? Might be. Yeah, it is. Should drink a haste potion. And I do a bit of fog, but I'm gonna try and get rid of my party because it's really quick getting rid of it. So I can shatter up, um... No one to get rid of the ones that are protecting me. I guess I get rid of my Silas out, unfortunately. I mean, Oracle? Oh, Oracle? Oh, that Oracle's the newer one, is it? That means, okay, so it's giving me that one, so that means Sears one more Pippa Piety down from where I am? Come on. Okay, then, let's shatter up something else. I can shatter up my... I don't want to lose the AC. I mean, I guess I shatter up this one and lose a bit of Dex. There we go. I finally see See, let's get out of here. That was uh, scary, though. Um, getting ambushed by a firestorm on the exit there. But we're out. And I still have, like, three blinky or something left. So I'm not like, completely out of blinky either. That was, a, that was a pretty fun run. That felt really good. Most of the game, that just felt pretty good. Um, yeah. Got my four runes. It was under four hours. So it was a reasonably quick 